Good afternoon, everybody. It is I, Hamster of Wrath, uh, scrambling in the last two seconds because I forgot to update my channel points rewards. You'd think I'd have this written down on a list somewhere, like, I don't know, a stream prep list. And the really funny thing is, I have a stream prep list, I just generally ignore it. So, you know, <laughs> that's how I roll. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome, everybody. We already have some lovely people in chat. We already have uh, Quinlist, Amiel, Bamboo's Ballet, PM Collector Boy, and Tanker. The only reason I know Tanker is that Tanker is lurking because he got called out by Mechgato's gift sub. So, uh, sorry, Tanker. Um, remember, only you can make more work for yourself. Yes, I. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny. There's some things I could do that would be probably make my life a little bit easier in some ways. But there we go. Hey, Oxford Karma, how's it going? Well, well, uh, well, 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 well. Not welcome. Well, well. Like if I ever wrecked a capel in orphanage. No, that's true. It's, just, it's a fair point. No. <laughs> yeah, it depends, depends on the uh, person doing the kicking, I guess. But uh, yeah. So, we are... Where were we? We're fighting the 331st, weren't we? Um, so, we best carry on with that. I haven't slept an awful lot. Uh, uh, so, I was not very awake earlier on, so I've had, I've had to take steps. So, uh, Hopefully, if you hear snoring at any point, just uh, scream at me. Except I won't be able to hear you, but anyway. You know what I mean? Or maybe you don't, because I'm not sure anymore. Let's let's just, just start, shall we? Oh, Bamboozle's waking up, okay, because there we go. We're, we're uh, so, so I'm, in, I'm in good company there. Hey, Rekaraz! Capellans have orphanages. Well, they probably have less orphanages than they started with, probably. Let's face it. Uh, oh, okay, right, what do we got here? Uh, dubious Intentions. And, oh, hang on, this is, this is a new one. Unsecured Warehouse Stuffed with Equipment. Uh, a few Seabills. Ooh, okay, so... Who the hell's Al... Oh, that's, I was gonna say, this is the planet. It's Penguin Intrigue. Penguin Intrigue's only just got out of the hospital, I think, and they're already causing trouble. This is hilarious. So he can appropriate things, we can offer money for it. Ah, uh, go on. Reappropriate it, why not? Uh, do, 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 a rusty cargo truck. Uh, oh, okay, this is, this has worked out okay. They are now dependable. They are a dependable criminal. That's the best type you want. <laughs> uh, hey Megaforge, how's it going? We're doing criminal enterprises against our own uh, people. This is this is great. Does this mean we got something? Oh, we got something. Is it any good? An ER PPC shotgun. Hello. Hello. Zero range PPC. But it's extended range. Oh. That's nice. We like it. We like it that. Uh, no, it's not. A PPC shotgun and a, a, a snub shotgun are different. The ER PPC actually fires clusters. It's like an LBX. Um, it's an LBX PPC. That's fucking hilarious. How heavy is it? Seven tons. Okay, that was free. We'll take that. We, we technically stole this from our own people. So this is quite funny. Uh, hey, Mega GM, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hey, dodge this. Yeah, it's basically yeah, it, it is basically the the uh, LBX equivalent of a PPC, which sounds hilarious to me. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to experiment with that. It sounds fun. Uh, hey, but 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 pies, how's it going? So this is like fat particle projectile. Yes, yes, it's even better. I don't have to aim as much. Oh, we're gonna have to find a home for that. Uh, a battle mission. Good, we like battle missions. They're nice and straightforward. Uh, I, I read that and I thought I said Barbarian. No, it's Battle on Martian. Okay, so I'm going to take all the things. The mind that tells us to make a mad build around it. I mean, it definitely could do... I don't know. Um, Anything that knocks a lot of lumps of things, it could be good with. Uh, it could be good on the... Ah, what's it called? The thing we stuffed full of uh, ER large lasers. I can't remember the name, but I'll, it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, hey, Beatsteaks, welcome, welcome. We have Hugh as the barbarian. I am the barbarian. It's true. I'll, 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 t I'll take the, I'll take the role of barbarian. I'm okay with this. 
done a bit of shopping. So far, I've got toothpaste. <laughs> Excellent. That's good. That's a, that's, a, that's a plus. Toothpaste is good. Toothpaste is important. Crit seek at extreme range. Yeah, but the great thing about it also, it's it's got uh, it doesn't have a range limit on it, so you can fire it in the lee. That's actually quite epic. Oh, I never got around to fixing this dervish up. Okay. There's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of mech baying later because uh, uh, apparently I forgot to. Usually, um, downtime between streams. If I have a bit of like hesitation about what I'm building, I'll usually do it off stream. Uh, I've been so knackered recently. I just never got round to it. So we'll figure it out at some point. Pairs real well with gorse rifles. Yeah, I think anything that that like knocks lumps off stuff. Um, is is going to be a good option to have it in in the sort of row of uh, things. So like, you know, big damage, big damage crits. That's that's uh, yeah, big damage, big damage crits. Cardboard box. I I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> man, I really need to wake up. This is great. Uh, right. That needs work. That's all energy. So we're uh, we're leaving that a little. Uh, we're leaving that off just this one side. I think for now, because I think we've got enough zap zap between us. We don't have pilots here. That's a problem. Toothpaste and cat litter, the cornerstone of nutritious breakfast. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. Sounds... Sound a wonderful time. I presume not being combined into some weird... Uh... Litter toothpaste. That sounds disgusting. Um... So, yes, don't be doing that. Um... Who the hell was driving the hunchback? Somebody must have been driving the bloody thing. Uh... I don't know. Who knows? Um, who's been driving the cicada? Nobody? I'm so confused. Uh, is that me in the throngler? Uh, give me a second. Um, I gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> this may take some time. Right, we want sense lock because we've lost, we've lost, uh, some parties going. Oh, look, this tank here, look. Uh, hello. Oh, wow, is my left mouse button wearing out? That would be... That would be a great time to find out my mouse is wearing out. That'd be funny. Uh, yes, you are in the Throngler, indeed. I'm not going to make the joke that I've made uh, every time I say the word Throngler. Uh, I wonder if some shenanigans we could actually fit the ERPP, the shotgun PPC into that, because that'd be a good option. But, uh, hmm. Energy variant Marauder, run a bit hot, but snubs were great on it. Yeah, we're still... Our, our Marauder's like 30-some-odd days away, I think. So we're still waiting on that one. Okay, battle in Martian Biome. This should be fine. Oh, preload the battle armor. Preload the battle armor. Put it on a mech. Uh, where can I put it? Let's put it on the urban mech, because it's funny. Uh, go, everything's fine. It'll be fine. I think the thing we what we might end up doing is uh, allying with Karita because uh, they've got C3 masters and we've got C3 slaves flinging around. Sorry to ask, I haven't been in for the few streams. No, it's alright, I couldn't remember. Everyone's Everyone's been juggled about. We've actually been taking an awful lot of uh, casualties recently, so people have been shuffled about a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm figuring if we if we uh, join Karita, we'll have access to their faction shop. And frankly, we're so uh, in with Karita now that that it would be almost impossible to be in with anyone else. So <laughs> I'm okay with that. We're actually performing above spec. We're meant to be like the third echelon numpties that never do anything important, but we're actually performing above spec. <laughs> it's surprising everyone. Right, let's get to the correct screen. There we go, perfect. Right, what's the chances Samira will screw us up immediately? Alright, we're at the back, that's good. It's a hard drop, of course it is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is fine. This is fine. This is perfectly okay. Um, They have some pretty solid mechs if when you get the cash together. Solid battle armor choices, no ram shenanigans. That sounds good. I like this idea. Kanazuchi battle armor. They carry full medium lasers on them. Oh, yeah, those are stupidly slow, if I recall. Um, but yes, they are quite punchy for um, uh, battle armor. I was just having a brain fart there because I was actually forgetting what uh, 
what um, was was reserved to one. <laughs> I'm not very with it today. <laughs> Take pity on the streamer. Okay, uh, in fact, what I think we're going to do, we're going to reserve everything and see what these guys do, because they've got to get around here, so we might as well take advantage of all the uh, spawn protection. And there's nowhere for us to go anyway, so our primary... Oh, that's, that's the secondary objective. The primary objective is all the way over here, so hopefully we're going to ignore them. You can ally with both Karita and Novacat. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Uh, aren't wind vortices a uh, good thing to hide in? Uh, yeah, they are pretty good. Um, but I'm I'm relying on our rate evasion, I think. Unless you talk, they're going to walk forward and then I'm not going to be able to hit them. That's entirely possible. But let's find out. And hopefully the enemy doesn't have artillery or something, so that'd be really awkward. Okay, the other the, uh, the the vehicle group are not active. This is actually very good because otherwise they would have pulled dumb reservation shenanigans. That's a shadow hawk. That's nothing to worry about. That ain't shit. How fares my lad? Uh, which one's your lad, Rikeraz? Is it's not named after you, is it? Is it um? Was it named after you? I can't remember. It's been a week. Oh, Steam Runner! Steam Setter! Uh, I think he's still alive. Ooh, that's another Lancelot. We've got one of those as well. That's a good point. Yeah, why can't we ally with Novacat? I'm I'm confuzzled. Oh, they're doing fine! Yeah, in fact, I really need to spread the... Uh... Oh, that's an Exterminator. Hello. Oh, this is fine! Okay, the great thing about this is they're overheating. They are going as 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 bamboozle is is uh, prone to be saying. They are going full unga bunga on the uh, on the uh, alpha strikes here. So this is fine. Oh, okay. The other lance is active because it's taking a good time to think about it. Ungle the bungle, indeed. Okay. That was a lot of indirect, and it was very, very well scattered. Interesting. Interesting. What was that? Was that mortars? Uh, Novacat are allied with the Inner Sphere. have been working alongside Karita. Oh, okay. Why do battle mechs have searchlights? Uh, because it helps to see in the dark. And sometimes if somebody jams your comedy... Swarm ammo. Oh, yeah, that's true. If someone jams all your incredibly complicated uh, equipment, you've still got a torchlight, a searchlight. That's that would be my thinking, anyway. Right, that's possibly within charge range, so maybe we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here and do it instead. Uh, is that everybody? Yep, yeah, that's everybody. Right, don't oh, don't wake the vehicles up. That's all I ask. Don't shit. We woke the vehicles up. Well, son of a bitch. This is fine. Don't wake the baby! We wake the baby. To blind the enemy! That's actually a fair shout! Sir, I've got a lot- Jesus Christ, that's bright, yeah. No one- no one wears shades in the future. Okay, I gotta remember what everyone's friggin' loadout is here. Okay, I- I punch holes in things, this is good. Uh, we've got SRM6s, that's good. We have... Miskels. We have lasers. We have a thumper cannon, uh, and we have comedy. Okay, so what we could do, we could double ping them, actually. Uh, and then they have no evasion. It does involve getting too close, though. Oh, mind you, they will, we will move before them, so that's not a problem. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully it won't be a problem. Uh, not all mechs have certain sensor modes like thermal or mag scan. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, it's like uh, it's it's like uh, a, well, I can't remember which uh, particular war it was, but it's kind of like when all the like uh, military aircraft started getting like super advanced, they were kind of like we don't need machine guns on airplanes anymore because they're redundant. Everyone's going to use missiles, and then I can't remember which particular military conflict it was, and they were kind of like. 
oh shit, the enemy have machine guns on their uh, airplanes. Uh, we're a bit fucked. And suddenly they went, do you know what? This whole machine gun thing's actually pretty good. <laughs> Korea and Vietnam. Yeah, there we go. I, I figured one of you guys would probably know. Um, and yeah, at that point, it's kind of like, ah, uh, hmm, you know, maybe it's a good idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what's EC? I know what ER is. What's, hang on, ER medium laser EC. What's EC stand for? Oh, early clan. Oh, wow. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, large laser PPC. I mean, this thing's got no armor on it, so I'm tempted to have a go at that. Actually, electric. That would be great. Battery-powered lasers. Love it. Uh, okay, it's got the least amount of armor on it, so let's uh, give that a boop. It's all some kind of sensor overloading interference focused on psych by a mech pile in a second or two. Yeah, I wonder if that... Well, I mean, stealth... Um, what do I call it? Uh, yeah, we have stealth armor. I suppose stealth armor isn't visual, though, is it? Stealth armor's ba uh, sensor based. Whoa, that nearly took his leg off. That's good. We likes it. Uh, right, where's the guy that was overheating? Exterminator. Okay. What can I, do for you? I mean, we've got to do this, haven't we? We've got to do this because why wouldn't we? Seventy-eight. Any advance of seventy-eight? That'll do. Right. How hot we are with the thing. I don't have to remember how to play this. It's like this is. This is the trouble. This is why I was talking about about scheduling things. I was kind of like, it's like I just realized it's been a week since I played this, and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is how this works. It was the Phantom that didn't have a cannon, which is problematic. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It was like suddenly I was like, oh wait, dog fighting is still relevant. Oopsie. Yeah. Burn, burn, burn. The enemy back. The enemy back. I mean, I don't know how much good that's gonna do, but it should be funny. Um, right, uh, big hole puncher. Um, okay, this is bad. My, my, my left mouse button is actually starting to go. That's not cute. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, great. Uh, my ears? That was me singing. Yeah, I know. That's terrible. Uh, let's go all in on the, all in on the, all in on the Lancelot. Uh, providing we're not going to melt. We're not going to melt. This is good. Go. Oh, that was all core. Wow. Yeah, he's fucked. Hot damn, he's fucked. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Confirmed. Let me finish him off with missiles. Let's do missiles. Let's get up a here. Up a here? We get to up a here. I'm a Mario. I don't know what I'm on about. Vimes economic theory strikes again. I was wait. I was waiting for somebody to say it. <laughs> Actually, I might, it might be a bit of grit or something stuck in there. <laughs> yeah, but I break mice so easy. I'm such a trog when it comes down to breaking stuff. This is the problem. And it's like, I, I, I appreciate, yeah, quali quality is a quality all of its own. But uh, honestly, I'm such a trog when it comes down to peripherals. Okay, that's uh, that's an XL crit. That's good. And we did some alley oop with some bees. Wait, did I get a double? Did I just get a double XL crit with bees? That's that's fucking unlikely. Yeah, that's that's that was double crits. That was amazing. Double bees, not double bees. Um, I'm tempted to go for a high explosive here. Um. I'm really tempted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the high explosive here and see if it does anything terrible to, to anyone else. I think this is this is great. Great. Oh, it's got a tag on it. Should have shot that first. Never mind. This should hopefully take care of this. Well, we've got another Lancelot if I wanted it. I was gentle. I wasn't that gentle. Uh, right, battle armor can't do much. And that's not strictly true. And uh, no, we probably won't be able to get over this hill. Never mind, that's fine. Resting my mech. Uh, double bees, wrong type of bees. A nice. What can I 
Uh, get something with optical switches. They have no moving parts, so you can only break one by putting a hand in a bucket of slime. <laughs> Guys, my mouse is broke. Why? Because I put it in a bucket of slime. Well, you shouldn't have done that. That would be that would be funny. Nah, it's fine. Actually, it's it's behaving itself now. I have a funny thing. There's a bit of grit or something in there. Right, okay. What do we got? What do we got? We have got a bunch of stuff with no evasion. Uh, that's Shadowhawk 2H, which is naff. Uh, I don't really want to get behind them this way because that's bringing them too close to the vehicles and I don't want to pull shenanigans of that just yet. Uh, nobody has any evasion, so maybe just run over here and shoot something. That sounds like a good idea. Not much. It's an Irby. You can kind of annoy people with it, but that's about it. What's up, boss? Right, now then. Um, I don't know why I'm sh not shooting the Shadowhawk, because that has no armor whatsoever. So that will probably evaporate in fairly short order. I used artillery charges properly. Shock horror. Oh. Okay, that's got more um, more average. It's got more ammo than the uh, fucking hell armor than I thought it did. But this is fine. Right, what are you doing, dervish? Not much, because that's a load of AMS. Minimal damage on that hit. Right, okay. Uh. Commander. Hmm. Will we actually be able to hit anything with artillery? That's the question. What's the penalty, I wonder? Uh, not much, apparently. Right, he's very warm. He's completely uh, out in the open here. What does that look like? Oh, that looked, actually, wait, that looked way better from over here. Height advantage, yay! Uh, let's go with... Hmm... Let's go with that, because for some reason that's actually way easier to hit. I don't know why. Slight of XY, but let's do it. Let's right, let's go with Shape Charge, because that's much funnier. Shadowhawks have a pretty solid armor for a 55 ton. I'm thinking there is one Shadowhawk that's terrible. Is it the 2D? The 2D's got like 300 armor on it. That one's that one's stock is pretty friggin' terrible, if memory serves. That's a 2H, which is slightly better. That completely missed. Perfect. 93% completely missed. That's that's good. Love it. Love to see it. Uh. The ouch. Uh yeah, it's 2H. It's a 2D I was thinking of. That is very, very unimpressive. Right, uh, let's keep going this way. Let's keep working left, because that's actually working pretty good for us right now. Um, I'm going to try hitting this. Double time. Let's go. I'm overheating. Don't want to do that. Okay. Boop. Wait, is any of my stuff in range? I keep forgetting this has uh, scatter. No, no, it isn't good. Taking the shot. Solid! Very solid, in fact. Reporting. Critical hit. Reporting. I fucked him up. Oh, I need a drink. Oh, should I move that earlier? Never mind. Uh, uh. There we go. Better. Ah, okay. So there's definitely some LRM shenanigans uh, in the vehicle, Lance, but that's okay. I'm hoping we'll be uh, got rid of this lot before that becomes a serious issue. Right, uh, Hoy Leper. Now, is it worth going more Inferno, or... No, I think we go back to regular. My reasoning being, uh, he's already a little squishy on that side, and he might fall over, which would be funny. Oh, we're turning our lasers off, because that's going to be too warm otherwise. Or can we have one of them on? No, we'll leave both of them off. Yeah, the, the, I, I keep. I think we keep encountering. I think we keep encountering two Ds in the Mech Warrior Five collab streams, 
and it's just fucking hilarious because we're just kind of like you sent a shadow hawk 2d okay brave and all stupid Yep, that was the, that was definitely the right shell. Another hit like uh, uh, can't see what he's doing. That's very cinematic, doesn't it? Plonk. Baratroma. Yeah, no shit. Uh, okay, what we got? Um, uh, we should get even higher with the centurion. Higher and higher. A gold, they added a second ton of SRM ammo too. Oh, nice! Make it extra explodey. That's exactly what you want. Uh, okay, let's just aim for this because that's fine. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Who hasn't gone yet? Has everyone gone? I think everyone's gone. Uh, let's. Let's put bees on the dervish. Again, words you weren't expecting to say today. Okay, uh, are we overheating? We're nearly there. We're nearly overheating, but not quite. Fire. This this is going to be salvage-tastic. This is great. 2D is a terrible refit. Stop my uh, stop my slightly armed. It gets dunked on. Yeah, it's 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 terrible. <laughs> Ready for orders. Yeah, I was I was completely. Uh, uh, getting my uh, 2Ds and my 2Hs mixed up, which, considering they're entirely different letters of the alphabet, um, I have no excuse for, really. Um, should I shoot the Shadowhawk since we've already shot it? That's oh, not going to hit that leg, is it? Dervish is way more scarier. Let's shoot the Dervish instead. Aye, aye. Running, we don't overheat. Uh, no, it's a little toasty, but not too bad. Firing a salvo. I saw orange. Was that the leg? Yep, good stuff. <laughs> uh, the main draw of the 2D has got a different hard point spread. Yeah, that's true. It's it's like all of these things that, that yes, sometimes, <laughs> well, virtually all the time, stock can be made better. That's very true. I can't remember the last time I used a Shadowhawk, actually. It must have been the previous career. Didn't last very long, I don't think. No, not the Erby! One missile out of all that. That's fine. <laughs> Minimal damage on that hit. Oh, I so hope they're going to be out of ammo before they get here. That would be so funny. You, right, we are pulling initiative one uh, battle armor shenanigans because we can. No need to tell me twice. Boop, bitty, boop, boop. Nice. When I shoot you, you'll take it. After that spread, we can safely say, no, not the RB. Yeah, exactly. What can I do for you? It was foretold. I forgot yeah. Warlord again. God no damn it. I need a giant floating uh, reminder that every time I get the battle armor out to fire, need um, I need to put the, to use Warlord. Because I forget. Okay, um, that's terrible. Why is that terrible? 59? The 2D only has slightly better armor than a stinger. Oh god, that is embarrassing. That's super embarrassing. Double time, let's go. Also, the stinger's faster. Which is quite funny. Uh, I also really like the Shadowhawk's looks. Uh, it's one of my favorite designs. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I it's it's aesthetically it's quite pleasing. Uh it is just a little bit as as I've already said, it's a little bit schizophrenic. I can't. But then I really like the Wolverine. And people don't like the Wolverine very much, and I'm just like, uh, I like it. I just, because well, I do. Commander. Um, okay. I should watch the anime they license the design from. Oh, is that one of the, uh... Uh... Nope, brain's gone. I should know which one that is, but I can't remember. Roger that. Whirlwind gives you cover, interferes your accuracy. Oh, yes, I'm actually shooting through the whirlwinds now, aren't I? And he's actually got some evasion. Uh, actually, there's no point in doing that, because he'll just uh, move and get the evasion back, so this is fine. And they all missed, but that's okay. Wolverine is better than Shadowhawk. <laughs> I mean, it, I think it depends. It's kind of like, if you, if you gave me an option of certain mediums and there was a Shadowhawk among them, it's kind of like, 
Would you like an assassin or a shadow hawk? Because I'm taking the shadow hawk. Oh, shooting at the hunchy. Okay. Interesting. Uh, LBX10, SRM6, and a large laser. Yeah, that's not a bad shout, actually. I almost Macross. Do you know what? I almost said Macross. Oh, they licensed it from a separate anime. Oh, okay. I degree in vanilla, but here I take the assassin. <laughs> hey, Infernal Icon, how's it going? Really? You you take an assassin in this over over a Shadowhawk? Uh, okay. Too slow. Uh, yeah. There is something in that, possibly. Wait, have I just viciously not used Sensalock at all? I haven't. I am a buffoon. Um, this is fine. Uh, right, he hasn't moved yet. What are, we, what are we looking at from up here? Okay, let's tank. What about this? That's still decent with a thump cannon. Fuck it. If I hit him, it'll be funny. Uh, okay, except I'm overheating, but that's fine. Uh, oh, tag. Yep, tag. Tag good. Right. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Engaging. Whoa, that was solid. Um, uh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I have literally potted his cockpit with the uh, tag laser. We're, get, we're gonna have to go for an extreme close-up in a second because that's hilarious. He looks like he's wearing a, a police uh, light on his head. That was a proper. That was proper disrespect. Uh, some assassin chassis that can be modded into very good backstabs. I've just never got on with them. Okay, we got we got to zoom in on this. Does it is it actually showing up? Oh, it's not showing up now. It was earlier. Oh, of course, it only lasts for a... Actually, yeah, why isn't it showing up? I feel robbed. Okay, that's weird. I could have sworn and got him square in the head, but apparently not. Oh, I'm very confused. Okay, that's weird. You all saw that, didn't you? I'm so confused. Uh, one of them has five missile hardpoints, a surprising number of SRMs or rocket launchers. Oh, yeah, yeah, if they have rocket launchers, that'd be quite handy. The tag's gone now. Yeah, I always get my timing wrong with that. Uh, right, he's still quite wobbly. Uh, is the urban mech in the blast radius? Well, we're about to find out. He'll be okay. I think that's okay. I think that's far enough, isn't it? It'll be fine. Oh, well, that's a bit hot. It only works until they take the. T I did not realize that. Hey, Roach Mogul, how's it going? I'm vibrating with anticipation for the next to last stream. Well, you're only going to have to wait until Monday. Uh, it's already on the schedule. I haven't. I, it's on the schedule on the Twitch page. I haven't posted the schedule anywhere yet, but it is on the schedule on the Twitch page. Um, I didn't realise that tag only lasts until they take their turn. I don't know why I thought that. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Probably because I failed to read read some notes somewhere. I I do that a lot. Reading. Um, okay, let's do that. Engaging. That was a solid miss. That was very rude. Oh, well. I was hoping that would finish that off, but apparently not. Um... So, in all this time I've been playing this game, I must have used tag after an enemy's moved. Because that's the first time I've actually tagged someone and then watched it disappear. <laughs> oh, attention span. You're a tricky bugger. Right, okay. Uh, let's finish this guy off. What have we got? Uh, that. Uh, oh, yes, lasers. Oh, no, that's SRM6s. That'll definitely do it. Or it bloody well should, anyway. Uh, still, there's monster collect for you. No problem. Uh, to be honest, I probably won't be using them until the next run, I imagine. Um... Because I think a lot of the DLC for Stellaris doesn't kind of... Uh, if, if it's related to galaxy creation, it won't have applied to the latest save I'm using. But if I use, start a new one, it will do. But, um, uh, yeah. All in good time. He explodo. He, he not very happy. Okay, uh, you probably need to turn your large laser off, because I have a horrible... Otherwise you're going to overheat. Language. 
English. What is it really? Um, okay, so let's do A. Hello? A. Yeah, okay, my mouse my mouse button is getting tired. This is uh this is sad. This is fine. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of orange! I didn't die. Oh well. Right, that's a little toasty. I don't want to use Warlord, because that'll make it even more toasty. Confirm. Uh, yep, we're going to have to drop a laser. That's fine. Oh, that should be it. That should be game over. Yeah, thank you. Was that... That looked like that might have been head and torso simultaneously. That's just rude. Uh, actually, you could plug in the cosmetic mods, but yeah, it's save using the gameplay ones for later. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, there's cosmetic mods? I Right. I have literally not looked... Uh, oh, is that a Shrek? That's a Shrek! I'm glad we uh, we haven't dealt with that yet, so that's good. I, I have literally not looked at any of the mods for... Uh, like, the community mods for Stellaris yet, because I'm like, there's, there's too much to take in. <laughs> but I do like me modding. I do like me modding. They are determined to kill this urban mech. It's really quite funny. I don't think they're going to succeed. Give them everything you've got. Well, don't give them everything. What can I do for you? Uh, wait, did I forget to use the battle armor last turn? Maybe I did. Oh well. Me forgetting something. What's a Shrek doing here with light years from the nearest swamp? Well, maybe somebody told him the world was going to roll him and he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. And uh, maybe he's a rock star. And he's getting his uh, whatever the rest of those lyrics are. But I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, if you don't get the reference, you don't get the reference. Right, can we do this? Six. Six is the number. Millie. Six. Yes! Alright, we got to overheat. We're not going to overheat. Uh, half of pilots are actually clones of Lord Farquaad. <laughs> that would be interesting. Coordinates received. Go, go, kicky a bee. Do a little loop de loop and kick him in the shins. Bonk. Oh, wow, that's structural damage, too. If you do get the reference, I'm sorry for starting this. <laughs> It's fine. Some exactly, yeah. Bless them. I think that's the only that's the only song that they got anywhere with, wasn't it? Is it Smash Mouth? Smash Mouth. I don't remember any other song they did. Okay. Which I suppose, you know, having one hit, I suppose, is better than having no hits whatsoever, but I'm sure they wish they were probably known for something else. Engage. Uh Oh, Walking on the Sun! Yeah, Walking on the Sun was a good tune, actually. That's fair. No, that's fair. Uh, one gameplay mod I could plug in any time. The one I told you about that gives you buildable mech factories and Battletech mech armies. Oh, okay. I'll have to. I'll have a look at that one. Oh, God. The ultimate crossover. Everywhere you go, there's Battletech. Even in a different game, there's Battletech. You can't escape the Battletech. Uh, okay. Um, which is Which is fine. Right, uh, oh yeah, we, we, we need to use Shape Charge here, because if we use uh, the other one, we might accidentally dome the Erby, which I don't really want to do. No domey the Erby. Oh, 64%. Oh, that's a bit gross. On my way. Double time. Walking on Sunshine. Walking on Sunshine, very different band, very different song. <laughs> right, now, has this had its turn yet? Uh, six. Yes, it has. Right, so so the tag should persist this time. Because that's a thing I learned today. Uh, okay, 64. Fuck it. It might work. Engaging with target. It didn't. It made a crater over there. But that's okay. That and the movie they used for the video are favourite pieces of my childhood. <laughs> yeah, I never watched any of the sequels. I watched the first Shrek one. Um, first Shrek film. 
Honestly, I could I could uh, heavily relate to a a big ugly guy who lives uh, who doesn't doesn't is a very antisocial and doesn't see people very often. I could I could relate to that. <laughs> hey, Mahanik, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. The BattleTech cartoon. Ah, yes. If you go if you go and find uh go on YouTube and find the channel Renegade HPG. They actually have the, uh, as remastered as they could do, uh, the entire Battletech uh, cartoon. Every single episode of it, and they've restored it as best they could, could have possibly done. And it's, uh, yeah, Re Renegade HBG, I believe it's called. You can find them on YouTube, you can find them on Rumble. Um, and, uh, yeah, they've got the entire series, so yeah, go find it. Because it's actually amazing. Oh, Mystery Men! Uh, Mystery Men! Mystery Men was a hilarious film. The Shoveler. I remember that one. The Battletech is cartoon is now canon as Lyran propaganda. Yeah, exactly. Well, as I've said, I have said countless times, um, it's actually quite funny. How law accurate. Not that, you know, I tend to get too bent up about law stuff. But the cartoon is actually surprisingly lore accurate, and you wouldn't think it would be, but it actually kind of is. It's a bit nuts. Oh! Uh, oh, that's fucking funny. I think we accidentally hit... We may have accidentally hit this with the other, uh... We may have accidentally hit this with the other artillery. That's funny. I didn't notice that. Oh, well. I shovel well. Exactly. I had a hunchback... Uh, two C toy and the the big one, the big one. Uh, Mauler? Oh no, it wasn't the Mauler? It was the Boku, wasn't it? Was it the Boku or the Mauler that Hawkins had? There was a topic of great debate because the Boku is a pile of crap. Because uh, it was the experimental one that was a bit shit, and it's the the Boku is actually the half decent one. And I keep forgetting which one he's got. I think it was supposed to be the Mauler, but it is in fact actually the Boku. I can't remember. Same thing. Yeah, there's, there's actually not much in it, but one's got a better loadout than the other, if memory serves. I got you. The Boku is an experimental mauler. Oh, okay. But it didn't have a particularly good rep, if if memory serves. Right, this is me taking the piss out of this Shadowhawk earlier on for not having any armor, and I can't kill the damn thing. You. I, I stand corrected. I slump corrected. Got it. Right, if we kill this this turn, that means the rest of them can't see us, which would be good. That's good. That looked like 120. It's not dead yet. Hit, How is it not dead yet? I'm so perplexed. Never mind. Uh, the Muller was just a rename to Boku to get away from the stigma. Oh, the experimental one was made for the game because of the cartoon. Ah, oh, okay. This works so much better when the physics was based on Bugs Bunny. Yeah, exactly. No, it's great. The, the funny thing about the cartoon is, like, you think, oh, well, this is ridiculous. But it was great. They, they had Hunchback 2Cs in the cartoon, and literally, they would, like, uh... Oh, that's that's not a, that's not a Shrek. Oh, fucking hell! Ha, send me a real opponent. Okay, I'm gonna get back to that anecdote in a second. That's a fucking horrible thing. What the fuck was that? I nearly knocked that down in one shot. That's some bullshit. What the fuck is that thing? Royal Berg. <laughs> okay, if you're the if you if all right all right UK UK people in chat, if you call someone a Royal Burke, you get the joke. Anyone not from the UK might not get that joke. Uh, a Royal Burke calling someone a Royal Burke is is actually a a a, 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 a rather amusing uh, turn of phrase. Triple PPCs. Okay, yeah, that nearly that nearly fucking. What? Why is oh. Well, Leopard was standing on rough terrain. That's why they nearly fell over. Son of a gun. Okay, this explains a lot. I hear ya. Uh, should we, should we swarm this guy? Let's swarm this guy. I think it'd be funny. 95%. Forgot Warlord. Every time. Going toe -to -toe. I forgot it. That sounded expensive. NICE! 
And the great thing is, I can get them and then put them back on the thing. <laughs> hey guys, I've unlocked the skill Battle Armor. It's only taking me nearly a fucking year. <laughs> uh, the Royal Burke is a Shrek with actual armor. Oh, nice. Hey, Sereni! You sound like a Wrexham hating Royal Burke. <laughs> Thanks. It's a horizontal awesome. Yep, pretty much. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. It's it it, it took me a year, but I, I figured out how 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 battle armor is supposed to be used. <laughs> okay, right, we gotta ping this thing to death and then kill it, because I don't like having three PCs fired at me. That's rude. Oh! It was only the urban wait, no? What? Oh that's confusing. Right, never mind. Uh okay, bit of a waste of an active ping here, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, we might have a heat. Shit. It's a little toasty. It's a, it's a little toasty. It's fine. It's just a little... It's a little on the toasty side. Ready for order. It's okay. Uh, right. And likewise, we're going to run over here and do it again. Full speed. You burk. Uh, anyway, yes. Uh, cartoon. Right. Uh, anecdote. So, in, in the Battletech cartoon, they have uh, Hunchback 2Cs. And Hunchback 2Cs are the epitome of glass cannons. And the funny thing about it is that in the cartoon, if the Hunchback 2C got the drop on someone, it would whoop the daylights out of it. But if someone got the drop on the Hunchback 2C, it was always the first thing to fall over in the cartoon, which is actually surprisingly accurate. <laughs> it's, it's, it's about right. Uh, you're telling me I climbed into those coffin suits with you being blissfully unaware of how to use them. Oh, no, I, I used to be terrible. Well, I wouldn't say I'm an expert now, but I used to be really bad with battle armor. I used to put them in the wrong phase and everything. Um, I, I, I feel I've learned a little bit since then. Right, okay. Uh, none of those are going to reach. The tag might, though. 70% uh, shape charge. Uh, it might work. Might not. Oh, it did. It actually hit it. it. Hitched it? It hitched it. Indeed. Right. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. What we got? Oh, yes. Let's deal with Hoy Leper because that's... Uh, let's let's get you off that uh, off that ground there because that was bad. Oh, I don't really want to... Oh, shit. Ah! That was the wrong timing. Never mind. I, I, I didn't time that. I didn't want to shoot on my PPC... Uh, SRMs now, but now I've committed, so never mind. Got it. It'll be fine. I wanted to shoot the HVAC first, but uh, I, I committed to the wrong thing. Right, uh, this is all going to hit the wrong place. This is perfectly fine. Oh, actually, most of that hit the front. I'll take it. You've been committed. I probably should be. Do you know what? That's actually a sexy little tank. I quite like that. It's nice and little compact. I like it. Commander. Not like, you know, in a, in a carnal way, but, you know, it's it's cool. Double time. Double time. Right, how much can I shoot without overheating? Uh, I was always mad as a kid who grew up in Macquarie 2 that the cartoon didn't feature Clam Wolf and the poster child Timberwolf. <laughs> uh, it had plenty of... Uh, it had some Timberwolves in it, didn't it? I'm sure it did. Not front and centre, though, because, uh, they, what was it? They mostly had summoners and vultures, I think. Summoners, vultures, hunchback 2Cs, and something else I can't remember. Uh, you can buy them in Wobby ter territory, maybe Epsilon near Adani. Ah, okay. Am I overheating? No, this is good. Firing on target. Uh, did that actually hit? I can't tell. Eh, oh, nope, that hit it. <laughs> Uh, guys, I don't think we're salvaging that one. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. Apparently. <laughs> I, I'm i not really sure how that much damage could constitute in salvaging four parts of it, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, yay. What are your orders, just, just as planned. Just, just as, just as planned. Uh, okay, you can have a bit of a rest because you're okay. overheating a wee bit, so you can chill out there. And then we have the Throngler, which amusingly has somebody with uh, sense log, so we can figure out what the... Oh, no, we can't. They're too far away. Wait, are you telling me that that guy was faster than 
the rest of the lance? I guess it was. How strange. This has gone swimmingly. I'm slightly worried about how swimmingly this has gone. I think the battle armor may be making the bag of hammers noise, which is which is never good. Uh, okay, we are not going to get direct. Actually, do you know what? I'm tempted to reserve all the way down uh, to see these. Actually, no. Wait, where, where are they going? Are they going? Actually, no. Let's let's do it. Let's do it face by face. Right, six. Press the hill, I dare you. He didn't cross the hill. Okay, he's smart. Ministry of Throngling, yeah. Okay, this is going to be something heavy, because it's going in initiative three. Is he brave enough to cross the hill? No, these guys are actually borderline smart. Okay, never mind then. Uh, You are overheating, so you probably need to have a nap. Or at least a little bit of a rest. There we go. Receiving. Right, let's find out what these are. I'm probably not going to be able to do an awful lot to them at this range, but... Confirmed. Now, of course, this begs a question... Oh, there he is. I was about to say, where's, where's contestant number three? And he's at the back. We should rename the Minister of Defense and Stellaris the Minister of Throngling. Ha ha ha! Well, keep that one in your back pocket and uh, remind me on Monday, because I can guarantee you if you tell me now, I'll forget. <laughs> and Le Ping! Locked on. Ooh, that's a weird shape. What's that? They wish to know. Inquiring minds wish to know. It's something quite large. It's a Rhino fire support tank. Okay, this explains where all the uh, missiles were coming from. They have, like, swarm missiles? No streak... Not gonna tell me, is it? Wait, that's that does not have PPCs in it. That's a big fat lie. That's better. Yeah, well, I've got no idea what was doing the area of effect anyway. Oh, Brutus assault tank. Okay, yeah, these these guys are these guys are chunk. Hey, Pedro. Uh, can you fire stream SRMs indirectly? I didn't think you could do that. Double time, let's go. Right, well, we are not going to be able to do an awful lot to these uh, at all. Right at this exact moment. Which is good, because we'll use this opportunity for a bit of a chill. Then streak. Uh, yeah, I think it was just, it's still, for some reason, it still thought I was pointing at the. Uh, uh, whatever it was called, the thing with the three PPCs I've forgotten the name of. Ah, the Burke! That's it, Royal Burke. How could I forget that? Right, let's see what contestant number three is. Oh, no, he's out of range. Never mind. Uh, oh, we can actually shoot at them, but they're very far away, so it's probably not going to do an awful lot. Uh, but what I will pro Oh, actually, that's better than I thought. What we will probably do... Let's set those to bees, and then uh, the bees should hit the other one as well. So that'd be a terrible shot when they cross the hill. That's my cunning plan. Engaging target. I definitely saw something go down here, I think. Yep, got both of them. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. What can I do for you? Um, Honestly, I wouldn't let them to come to me, but it's not going to happen. Actually, no, we can get ahead of them now. Well, a little bit. What's up, boss? Uh, you're still running very, very warm. Um, you don't have anything particularly clever. I mean, you can go there and annoy them, I suppose. Full speed, no target. Hello, I'm an urban mech. And you're nearly overheating, so maybe we'll just switch that one of those off. Uh, no, I think that's okay. We'll go running over here. Actually, we still don't know what this is. What's this? A puma! It's not a puma! Except it is a puma. Because it, it says it's a puma on the screen. 
It, it's a puma. Oh dear. Uh, I wish to shoot this. Yes. No shooting. Just running. No, there is shooting. You are lying. There is much shooting. Uh, oh, actually, if that's got that many missiles on it, maybe I should ping that and make it a terrible shot. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'll make it a terrible shot. That's a better idea. I've got a center lock. Look, I'm in charge. We're calling out Warthog. Yeah. It's a jackalope, clearly. Your eyes deceive you. You mostly missed. Damage minimal. They mostly missed. Commander. Mostly. Uh, no, you're sir, or oh, madam, not shooting this turn. Right, where is... I hear you. Okay, you can get over there. Uh, wait, what, 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 really? Oh! I have just noticed that this mountain is re rem remarkably steep. Uh, so I should be going this direction instead. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. You betcha. Oh, this has got a lot of armor on it. That's going to take a while to chew through. Receiving you. Definitely. Luckily, they've got regular PPCs, which means at this range, they'll probably be a very, very bad shot. One can hope. Uh, we arranged to get accidentally bead. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Aha. Uh, fuck it. I mean, if it all goes on that side, that'll actually be pretty good. Get in there! Ready for orders. Right, Throngala, can you... Oh, you can. That's a peach of a shot. Don't mind if I do. I hope we can use all of them. It's kind of funny. Stock Shadowhawk, then this rather good vehicle lance. Yeah! Yeah, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a mixed bag. Right, this might work. Copy that. It nearly worked. Now, of course, the tank is going to be very clever in turn. This is fine. This is this is why I I pinged it earlier to make it a terrible shot. Shutterstock Shadow Ball. Yeah, it's got a little copyright. Uh, it's got a little copyright symbol on the back of it. Yeah. Right, what am I remembering? Warlord. Battle to the metal. Battle Lord. It's not called Warlord. <laughs> it's called Battle Lord. It's something else entirely. Take this. I remembered it, but I called it the wrong thing. And I've just made a terrible mistake, because I've just remembered that that hasn't actually moved yet. Oh, I've just killed the battle armor. No, we're fine. Not a problem. <laughs> I know how to use battle armor. Uh, dismounts battle armor in front of enemy that hasn't acted yet. Uh, oopsie. Um, yeah, sure. Got it. Maxine, <laughs> no shooting. It's only a little mistake, you know. It's fine. Right, this thing hasn't turned yet, has it? This is still the left side. No, it hasn't. Alright, we need to get rid of that. How's it going? Uh, no, you're not going to melee it, because if you melee it, that means you're going to be right in the bloody way. Um, actually, well, having said that... 40. Hmm. It might work. It might actually work. Uh, uh, so hamster, HP found me, have you? I have not! I have not found you, though I, to be honest, I haven't actually looked in the, uh, what's it, hiring hall, uh, for a little bit. Uh, cause we haven't had any more redemptions for a bit, so, uh, uh I, I, I haven't actually been looking for you, but, uh, you never know! We'll, we'll, we'll have a look. Mashed potatoes are just Irish guacamole until we meet again. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that that sounds sounds like it should be vaguely offensive, but I'm not sure it is. I I've got no idea. Right, circly, circly, 
Stompy Stompy. Oh, this is great. And a boot to the head. Come on! Nice! That shouldn't have worked, but it did. That literally looked like he took a soccer kick and just, like, kicked it down the hill, which is pretty much what he did do. Waiting for orders. Uh, right, how much has this got? 700? Nope, not 135. That is a lie. Okay, that's fine. Commander. Okay, oh, Mander. Um, yeah, I'm ignoring this thing for now. All our big guns are on the other side of this hill. It's really quite annoying. Right, are you overheating? No. Excellent. Standing by. Uh oh, oh, oh. Uh that's looking good. That's looking good. Right. How much heat? No, we're good. Oh yes, potatoes, the fruit of the earth. <laughs> uh I'm trying to think what other things what other edible stuff you dig out of the ground. There's probably quite a few of them. Can't think of this on my head. Uh, this might work! Firing. Holy crap, it did. <laughs> right, uh, which then means... Uh, nope, not that. There we go. Dealt with. Thank you kindly. Let's get fired up! I'm, I'm super excited to be here! Me! Oh no, no idea. Peanuts, onions, that's true, yep. That's a fair point. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I, I know this, but your brain is just like, I, I'm, not, I'm not reminding you what that means. And it's like, okay. Thanks, brain. Making me look stupid. One of the most versatile foods you could grow in the dirt. Very true. Right. Uh, this looks pretty solid. Firing all weapons. Nice. I really do quite like that HVAC. It's pretty damn good. Right. No, we're not close enough. That's fine. Let's give it some bees. You probably should have just given it some missiles. Probably would have worked better. Okay. Yep. That's going to be painful. Yeah, they're pretty nifty tanks. They are pretty nifty. Uh, it's just been, we've been very, very uh, lucky with the uh, placement. Oh, that's good night, Vienna. Yep. Nice. Well, that went pretty well. He certainly sent them a message, yes. That message went zap zap zap, whoosh whoosh, bang, ow. That's that's how that message actually read, probably. As a descendant of a long line of prime Irish refugees, I'm genetically predisposed potatoes. I mean is anyone is anyone like against potatoes? I d I don't think there's anyone who's like super against potatoes. I mean there's probably on average, there's gotta be at least one person. Uh, yeah, well, we kicked plenty of ass there. That was pretty good. Aside from that, I nearly got the Achilles armor killed, but, you know. Right, so... We have... Three bits of a Brutus Assault Tank. Three bits of an Exterminator, which I don't think we have. That's the one with all the weird ex uh, early clan stuff, isn't it? Isn't it? Hang on a minute. Four early clan prototype ER medium lasers for firepower. Eventually be mothballed and can only be found with bandit and dark cast forces. Oh, okay. Three bits of that. Um, one, two, three. And an, a, an entire Lancelot. Oh, okay. They have uh, bundled the tank into one group. That's probably a no-brainer because uh 
trip PPCs on a, on a vehicle is probably good. And we do actually have a vehicle pilot who can do nothing else. Uh, three ER medium lasers, early clans. So are these? Oh, they're one and a half tons. Okay, I see. That's why they're heavy. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Five PPCs. Okay. Uh, core, XL engine... Uh, do, do, do. this is great. When people like you, they bundle stuff together. Hey, Silicon Soul! Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm giggling internally at the thought of naming a whole Lance a lot. Hey! Lance a lot. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a royal tank. Why not? Um... What else do we think? Uh... I don't know. What else we got? Large lasers, medium lasers, PPCs, vehicle flamers. Two cores bundled together? XL engine? Well, that's Inner Sphere XL though, isn't it? Uh, maybe. A can a figure it No, indeed. Oh, somebody did have swarm LRMs. That explains it. Yeah, I don't think we have much in the way of XLs. I think we've got an XXL floating around somewhere, which we certainly didn't want to use. So yeah, maybe an XL's a good shout. Um, and... Honestly, I'm just tempted to get five, five PPCs. 285 core? Uh... Eh, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, that's true, we were looking for a 285 the other day, weren't we? Extra, extra light large engine, yes. The extra large, extra light, extra large, light large engine. Um, that was okay. That was pretty good. We have a Tonk. We have a very, very angry Tonk. And we actually have somebody who can drive said Tonk. So uh, we may have to use that at some point. Yeah, that's that's what having a high reputation does for you. That's, that's quite handy. Like I said, we'll probably, once we've got this uh, uh, engagement sorted, we'll probably end up aligning with Kirita. Hey, Surf Gold! Welcome, welcome. Because the, there would literally be no reason not to ally with them, really. Right, okay. And when allied, you see mech bits bundled. There you go. That's even better. That's even better. Even better, even better. Uh, yes, there we go. Berk. Berk? <laughs> That's another thing uh, uh, UK people only get. If you ever see the see the uh, the, the uh, claymation animation uh, trapdoor. Berk, get my dinner! That was a great show, that was. Absolutely amazeballs. Right, we got a 75 ton triple PPC... All right, String Caster M2 is a bit weird, but other than that, yeah. So basically, it's a as as I think Mecha GM said, it's a Shrek with armor, which is pretty good. We'll have that. Burke, name it Fred. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, no, we can't because vehicles can't be renamed. Uh, can't be refitted. Ergo, you cannot rename vehicles. Ah, uh, which is something I forgot. However, if you wish to use said redemption to name something else, uh, let me find something that doesn't have a name. Wait, has everything got a name at this point? Wow, nearly everything's got a name. This is this is quite nuts. And the Marauder doesn't have a name because it hasn't been built yet. And the Dervish doesn't have a name because I haven't actually tinkered with it yet. So uh, we'll keep that one in reserve. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, just wanted to make a Fred Burke joke. I know, I know. The game decided not to, not not to let you. Right now, I believe last time we were having a conundrum between turning this into like an SRM boat or something, weren't we? Uh, and then we were like, what would be better, the Kentaro or the Dervish? And then we realised there wasn't actually that much between the two of them, even though the Dervish actually has more missile slots, but then it worked out as having exactly the same tonnage? Was that what we were, we were going with? Something like that. 
I think we need to get this raid out of the way first before we start tinkering too much, I think. I think? I think. I'll just let that one go. Yeah, it's probably because you haven't got an abundant... haven't got a, a, a lack of uh, 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 channel points. Oh, God, after all this, we might lose. We have been flawless in, in our fight here but it's now 9-9 nine, nine. we might actually lose this one which would be a little bit embarrassing <laughs> just a little bit teats a bit embarrassing Receiving you. right okay what we got we got amiel uh let's do gunnery sounds good tactics even better Training complete. they did it was something like oh god what was it when we started was it like 30 versus 15 i want to say it was something like that and now it's nine versus nine so Ready for orders. but i suppose if we lose it's no big loss to be honest well not to us anyway <laughs> it's a loss to the people living on the planet obviously but you know we don't live here um uh gunnery always good a uh, little bit of parting Mech warrior training complete. right uh so this guy will get to drive the tongue because uh, we haven't actually used this guy yet so that works. Receiving you. Uh, Urkin stuff will sit in the hospital, probably because I think was that down to battle armor problems. It was down to battle armor problems. <laughs> Oops. I, I remember that. I, I think I'm quite lucky to make it out there in one piece, to be honest. Yes, commander. Uh, oh wow. Okay, I didn't realize Kareet and Bob had gunnery too. That's that's f actually pretty impressive. Wow, we've been using this guy a lot. Okay, uh, what should we use him for? Uh, what do we need? What do we need? More multi. Actually, we don't have an awful lot of. We've got a little bit of multi target. Um, a bit more multi target. More sense lock. Actually, yeah, let's face it. More sense locks. Actually, more sense locks. Never a bad idea, is it? Uh, at which point we'll do. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Yep, yeah, nope, that's not a bad shout. Cretan Bob. How's it going? Me? Oh yeah, I have all the XP. Jesus Christ. Uh Halting, maybe? Training complete. The Tonka tank. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, there we go. Get Mecha GM to drive the tank and hopefully not die. Yeah. Uh I still haven't got around to using the save editor to turn that into Rowan Atkinson. I'm not actually sure I want to do that because it might break stuff. Duncan Fisher here. Uh, Silicon Soul, Gunnery, a little bit more tactics. Bob Kareet and Bob Ross. Yeah. How much Bob can you handle? Commander. Uh oh, did Quinlis got injured? Quinlis got injured. Okay, sure. Um. Oh, honestly, I'm beginning to wonder if Battle Lord's actually worth it these days because it's immediately just immediately overheat. I'm down to drive a big tank. Excellent. I'll try not to get you killed this time. No promises. Um. Uh, I don't know, but I always feel Battle Lord is very niche because a lot of stuff rides on the the kind of the edge of heat sinking most of the time anyway, so I don't know. Intensify fire uh, Intensify Firepower is only uh, it was vehicle only, isn't it? Oh no it's not vehicle only. Wait, hang on. Wait. I am confused. Yeah intensify firepower it does Ah uh, I think they I think that might have been patched. I think that might have been patched. Don't quote me on it. Um, I, th I think that's made vehicle exclusive, I think. It used to. It used to. I have a funny feeling that got patched. Oh, it didn't get patched. Oh, okay. I thought it had been. Uh, another missile specialist? Yeah, why not? Uh, wait, hang on. What have they been doing? Uh, no, okay, hang on a minute. I'll tell you what, I'm going to reset that because I don't actually know what, what they've been driving. Uh, everything. They've been driving everything. Uh, the driving in Taro, making them a missile specialist, is probably not a bad shout either. The only skill that can't be used in both, you can learn it, is side slip, which is going to be used in vehicles. Oh, for some reason, I thought that had been patched. Oh well. Training complete. 
Um, I'm down to drive anything. Actually, yeah, where where are you, Roach Mogul? Bless you. you. Yes, you've sorry, you've been you've been slightly overlooked. There's been so many people. <laughs> Yes, we should take you out and actually get you some XP. That would be a good idea, wasn't it? You and uh, you and a couple of others definitely need some XP. It's true. That's what happens when you have twenty people in in the barracks. That is that is the issue. Right. Let's do a quick save. Uh, Bloody Doves is planning on reducing the number of mech vehicle pilots significantly eventually. Oh, okay. So that the the hybrid, the, so the hybrid thing is going to be there's going to be less hybrid pilots. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, more stuff. Roach Mogul has Dakota pilot written all over him. To be honest, what was it? Um. Oh yeah, we're going to have a look a quick look in the hiring hall. See if uh. No, no, not there. Never mind. Uh, to, I can't remember the last time we saw a VTOL, to be honest. There was, uh, there was a heavy, uh, there was a heavy carrier. But not like a Dakota. Yeah, we haven't used, uh, Dakotas are great. I used to love those. Used to stuff them full of battle armor. Yeah, no, apparently we haven't got one at the moment. It's supposed to be rare and special. Ah, oh, okay. How many of those have we actually got at the moment? I think we've only got a couple. Excluding me. I don't count me, because I'm always a hybrid. Uh, one. Oh. Well, we've only got one. <laughs> I'm not counting myself. We've, we've literally only got one. So, we, yeah, we haven't, we haven't got an abundance of them. Right. Okay. Uh, I don't think we took any major damage in that last one, did we? Nope. Good stuff. Next. <sighs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to make some money at some point. We'll sell off all our salvage. This might be a good idea. It's funny, I go into a system, check for hybrid pilots, try and have as many as possible because it's handy dandy. Yeah, I don't. it doesn't always occur to me sometimes, I must admit. I keep forgetting. Me forgetting things? Oh. Hang on. Uh. All right. Uh, assassinate. Ooh. Okay, this would be fun. But but an eight. A lunar assassination mission. Oh, this could be uh yeah, this could be super interesting. Okay, this is fine. Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um what is our tonnage limit at the moment, I wonder? I can't think. Uh... Hmm. So maybe we'll leave the Erby behind. And we'll take the Tonk. Assassinate on the moon. Exactly. Let's take Mecha GM out. Entirely down to the fact that they have Gunnery 4 versus the other guy that had Gunnery 3. So, uh. We will take the big tonk, why not? Uh, right, what can we put Roach Mogul in that won't get him killed immediately? Uh, we could put him in the Scuttlebutt, because that usually sits at the back lobbing missiles at people. Um, and is a relatively safe place to be, but yeah, you're in dire need of some XP there, mate, so, uh, yeah. Uh, now we did actually just have somebody who had Missile Expert, so that's good. Um, I am actually quite stunned how good this Centurion has worked out. I, I really like this Centurion. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find something that has similar sim, a similar loadout at a higher tonnage, because I just I just love this setup for some reason. It's just great. I like artillery rolls. Excellent. Well, maybe we will make you the missile person. Um who else? We've got poor old Mr. Bean, who has Gunnery 2. Where can we put him that's not an essential? I don't know, really. Uh, we'll think about that another time. Uh, right, other than that, what have we got? Uh, yeah, no, all good. Everything else is in storage. Oh, the Owens is back! Hey! Um, should we take that instead of the Cicada? Or in addition to... 
Who might tell that instead of the cicada, actually? Who's been driving that? Oh, Tank Air's been driving that anyway, so there we go. So that has all the buffs going on. Yeah, I, honestly, this is the longest amount of time I've actually used a Centurion. Usually I get rid of them pretty early. So I'm losing the plot here, I was trying to do that. Um, I, I do tend to get rid of them quite early on, but um, for some reason we kept hold of that one. Like, like I said, I'm just liking the loadout. It seems to be working pretty well. Uh, this should be fine, probably. Uh, let's find out. Uh, I've used two as escorts for my mech, almost like an honor guard. Yeah, it's not, yeah, tag, tag teaming your mechs up is not a bad shout at all. I must admit, I quite like how that Thumper Hunchy's working out as well. Uh, I thought initially it was cursed. Um, but it's kind of come good. Uh, it's actually started hitting things, which is always a plus in a fight, really. But at one point, I thought it was going to be awful. Man, I have used up all of my drink today. Good God. I'm a thirsty boy! Take that one out of context. <laughs> is the hunchback named? Yes, it is called the One Thump Chump. I can't remember who named that one, but uh, it's glorious. Right, let's see where Samarius put us. In trouble. Command interface initiated. Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, it's the... Uh, what? Wow, what is... Th there are squares everywhere. Why are there squares everywhere? I'm slightly worried. Okay, she didn't put us in the middle of everything. And what is that? Is that a Battlemaster? Kind of looks like a Battlemaster to me. Wait, is it snowing on the moon? I think it's snowing on the moon. Thanks for the hydrate and the stretch. Urchmogel. Thank you. Urgh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to top up my uh, top up my fluids after this mission. Uh, did you see the impact? Safely distant as predicted. Dust is mostly ice. Oh, oh, there's like been a big. Oh, this is new. This is new. Oh, so there's been like a giant meteor hit or something, and it's thrown a lot of stuff up into the into the air. Oh, oh, this is new. This is cool. I have never seen this before. Cometary impact. A small cometary body has landed nearby, throwing up a cloud of ice dust. Visibility is reduced to 80%. All units have plus two defense. And the heat sinking penalty is reduced to only 5%. Ballistic and missile weapons, as well as jump jets, gain 30% more max range thanks to reduced gravity. Nice! I've never seen this before. I was like, why is it snowing on the moon? It's like, it's because a giant fucking uh, comet has hit it. That's why makes sense when you think about it right so we've only got supporting forces and target so far i have a funny feeling that will probably change and this is a horrible horrible choke point and i don't like it but i we'll think we're gonna have to go that way anyway because the other option is oh, actually we could go this way yeah okay let's let's weigh the options here horrible horrible choke point or fuck this shit, we're going this way. I think fuck this shit, we're going this way. I think is definitely the, the better option of the two. Unless we inevitably come across uh, another lance, which we may have to change our plans. Yeah, I've never seen that weather condition before. That's kind of cool. <laughs> fuck that shit, we're going this way, yes. The most uh, lengthy acronym you could possibly come up with. Copy that. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck! Get my tonk. Yeah, I think uh, that it's not this map. It is a similar one. Or maybe it is this map, actually. In vanilla, uh, there's a map similar to this where I think it's like it has like a flat bit and there's like a base here. Uh, but but the 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 base is kind of like further up, so they have a nice little plateau to fire off. So yeah, I'm thinking of circumnavigating that and going right around this side. 
Whether we can actually go that way, uh, I don't know, but uh, we're about to find out. For now, battle tech likes to bust your balls. There, there is sometimes there are excessive shenanigans even in vanilla. Yes. Copy that. Though because, oh, oh, okay, they were closer than I thought. It's another vehicle. Okay, this is fine. Well, you know, a little, a little herky jerky here. This is okay. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. It was fine last mission. Right, we good? Oh no, dismount. I knew that. Sounds smart. Cooling. Uh, okay. So we found the supporting ones. Hmm. Waiting on you, All right, you can reserve down to one. I want to see what they do. Also, he appears to have a uh, con combustion engine on the moon. Because magic. Moon magic! Reserving action. Come on. Somebody, somebody come this way so I can beat you up. It'll be funny. <laughs> no, no, apparently not. Okay, this is fine. I think we did the right thing. Because they're having to kind of like... I mean, no, we might still be a bit of a height problem, but they're, they're still having to, like, back up again, so this is fine. <laughs> I'm starting to consider reinstalling Battletech and uh, finding this BTA mod, uh, long story short, and mostly on my Steam Deck these days. Uh, I have... I have... I, I know what a Steam Deck is, <laughs> but other than the, the operation of same, I could not tell you. Well, there is the uh, wiki uh, that has all the instructions and all the features and everything. So if you do decide to adopt it, there it be. Um, okay, right. Let's uh, da -da 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 -da. let's let's sneak over. Oh no, the sneaking is not really happening now. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll pull a lateral. Pull a lateral. Right, who's moved? That's moved. That's moved. Okay, I want to find out what this vehicle is first. Let's do that. Uh, Steam OS is basically Linux. There's a Linux related option in the BTA install. Ah, there you go. See? Bam Bamboozle Ballet knows the stuff. Ooh, partisan heavy tank. That's respectable. Uh, four AC5s. Yep. Yeah. One evasion, so we can see that. That's fine. I wonder if that's a similar. It's probably a similar tank. Oh, it's a bit fucked. What's a bit fucked? Uh, battle fatigue. Wait, what? It doesn't have a torso. It's it's a tank. Wait, hang on. Oh, okay. Battle fatigue, fifty percent. Left torso, right torso. Skill penalty minus three to all skills. Jesus. Okay, he's having a bad day. Right, I want to find out what this other mech is. Got a lock. Ooh, did that say Wolverine... Wolverine 2, did that say? It's a Wolverine 2, and most of its shit is broken. That's quite funny. Uh, except the UAC-5. Okay, we, we must be coming up against, like, the, the rear echelon uh, mofos here. This is, this is quite funny. Yes, Commander. Right. Uh, Royal Tonk is not going to be able to see anything, so we're going to have to go up here with it, because why not? Four AC-5s on the moon is kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say so. Just a wee bit scary. Uh, yeah, annoyingly, we're not going to see most of this from this angle, which is a bit crap. Didn't have a good experience with vanilla BT on Steam Deck. It was sluggish even on low settings. Ah. Yes, boss. Yeah, I imagine when... How old is the Steam Deck these days? I'm just trying to think. Did, was, did the Steam Deck actually come after Battletech? Or did it come before? I think it might have been after. I, I don't keep up with the cool kids. I'm... Uh, Way after. Oh, okay. Makes sense. On it. So yeah, probably probably didn't have that in mind when they uh, the, when they put it together, I'd imagine. Ontos, minty freshness. Okay. Oh, that's got wow. Okay. 
I remember these. These are actually quite scary. That's a lot of medium lasers when you don't have to worry about heat dispersion. Holy balls. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mediums. Okay. Good to go. What are your orders, Skipper? Slightly scary. Slightly scary. Aye, aye, Skipper. Full speed. No time. Yeah, we're going to have to suck up a bit of fire for a bit while until we can get in a decent position. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run wide here, and is that close enough for bees? I might go... F oh wow, that's a terrible chance to hit. Why is that so bad to hit? Has that got something magical on it? Oh, okay, that's easy to hit. Right, fuck it. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 on the Steam Deck isn't bad, need to try Rogue Trader on it. Ah, okay! Yeah, I just wonder if like a, the, some of the modern stuff is more suited to it, maybe. For the most part, can handle lower fidelity and performance, like portability and convenience. Yeah. I, I'm too much of a keyboard and mouse jockey these days. That is true. V Vanilla Battletech was not particularly well optimized. That is an absolute uh, truth there. Yes. <laughs> Right, I don't know if anyone else got bees in the cockpit. We can but hope. I don't think they did. I think they were too far away, which is a bit awkward. Hey, the Archaeos, how's it going? Uh, community washing machine has been fixed. I can now wash clothes again. That is, uh, that is uh, a good thing to be able to do. Straight for the nice shiny new tank. That's that's great. That's that's good. That's so good. I hear you. Uh, is it worth getting the battle armor out for a cheeky cheeky pot shot? Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, we can actually hit it. Uh, fifty nine. Not great. Oh, it's got a very interesting color scheme. Yeah, that was that was probably not worth it, but eh. What can I do Back on the bus. <sighs> got it. Max speed, no shooting. And I forgot Warlord again, because of course I do. Uh lately been enjoying Stellaris on the deck. It's easy to pick up and put down. Yes, yeah, St Stellaris would probably be a lot easier going on it because it's mostly kind of like uh well, I know it is 3D, but it's it's not like mega 3D, is it? Uh, the other thing I was though, as charitably say, I don't get out much. I have a beast of a desktop PC. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but so Bamboozle basically has. If you if you guys, I've said this like several times. If you guys have ever seen the film with Will Smith and Gene Hackman, Enemy of the State, uh, Bamboozle basically has the same number of screens. That Gene Hackman had in uh, Enemy of the State. It's 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 quite funny. Let's move. Uh, most be playing stuff like Citizen Sleeper and Sovereign Syndicate. Oh, okay, I don't think I've heard of any of those. I've got a sensor lock. That's called a battle station. <laughs> I may be exaggerating slightly, just a, just a little bit, you know. Right, okay. Uh, he's there. What else we got in the way of... Standing by. Oh no, this is our arty, okay. I have, to keep re I have to keep reminding myself to treat this more like uh, an AC-20 than an actual artillery piece. Um, because that's kind of really what it is. No shooting, just running. Uh, yeah, shape charge on the nose. Sounds good. 100 damage, come on. Come yeah, on! We can do this. Uh, filling up and getting a new screen soon and getting rid of my weakest one. So if anyone in the UK wants a 32-inch curved VA screen, hit me up. <laughs> wow. Dear God. Third day of pork chops, mixed veg, and gravy. Yeah, pork chops are good. Pork chops are good. Right, let's go. Don't miss, Thumper Cannon. 
Ooh, did it miss? It did not miss. It did not miss, because the front of that is now fucked up. Good. 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 Right, let's get stuck in. Um, Let's bonkity bonk him, and then there's not going to be much him. Oh, wait, this other one. Oh, shit, it's a whammy. Hello. It's a whammy. How buggered is this whammy? Uh, it's a little buggered. Okay. Right, don't miss me. Uh, it didn't explode. Think I hit something good. Because I hit the wrong side. Well, that was... Holy shit. I literally... I bypassed the front and hit the side. Okay, all right. This this tank refuses to die. That's just... It did dare not to explode. How very... Harry... Bear, bear. Have him there? Halle Berry! Yes! If in doubt, Halle Berry. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I need a coffee. Right. Uh. Okay. Uh. Let's go here. This. 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 This, this is. This is going to be excessive. But I kind of want it gone. It's got a lot of medium lasers. Be gone. <laughs> fuck it out there. That didn't take much, did it? Whoops. Didn't want one anyway. It's. It's fine. <sighs> Uh, due to my future move, we're doing most of my game on a Lenovo Legion laptop. Yeah, you have to be you have to be a wee bit uh, careful with the old uh, fans on on the desktop. Yeah, that's that's usually the uh, the, the biggest issue. Uh, well, these are garbage chances. Um, it's a partisan guy. Okay, five AC fives. That's actually pretty strong. I'll tell you what, let's... I was about to say, let's use split... Let's use multi-target. And I realise that this person doesn't have multi-target because it's Roach Mogul. Uh, oops. So let's just do this. Acknowledged. He heard the story of the little heads of the could. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was his role model growing up. Right, this might sting a little bit. Just a smidge. Not a problem. Damage is light. Battle armor soaked it up. It's fine. Battle armor probably doesn't think that way, but you know. Right. Uh, ninety-four. Don't mind if I do. I am so happy I did not go up here. Can you imagine trying to get up here without like viciously plinking away at us? That'd be very rude. Right, we overheating? No, we are. Oh no, we're not because we got the there's ice everywhere. This is good. Yay! Can we get away with doing battle lord? <laughs> Cost twenty extra heat. Okay, how much heat am I gonna? Wait. Uh. Projected heat three of one hundred and fifty. Heat sixty five will sink sixty two. We could do Battle Lord, couldn't we? I think we could get away with that, you know? Yeah! Copy that. Ordinarily, I would never have done Battle Lord on the moon because that would have been a shit idea, but that actually, that actually worked out. It's all good. Strap it to your back, run a really intensive game, and simply fly to work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! From long range. That, I believe, is our target. Uh, which is a bit rude, but that's okay. We can handle it. Oh, hey, yeah, I've got this tank. Oh, this is... Actually, this is... This is half decent speed for a tank. Uh, I like it. On the move. Full speed. Right. Tank on tank action. This should work. That works. I thought that all three of those PPCs were going to miss. That would have been very embarrassing. I wish to bathe them in Prometheum. Yeah, well, la laptops... The thing is, laptops are very much the trade-off between power and portability, aren't they? That is, that is always the problem. Every 
every time. Every time I take a tank out, some fucker has a go at it. Every time. Oh, hell yeah. uh. Right, uh, battle armor. Uh, shift to one. Oh, I didn't do the battle armor tango. Never mind, this is fine. Holy Prometheum? Praise the Omnissiah. Right, okay. He's only got one evasion. The Wolverine's got three evasions, so we could fix that. Or we could run over here and shoot the Warhammer with all the clever shit we've got. Well, actually, the only clever shit we've got on here at the moment is a tag. And, of course, that gets to initiative four that's going to shake it off. Just like Taylor Swift. Uh, so maybe what I'm going to do is go over here and boop the snoot there. And then see what we can do. Yeah, they... they... Are you fucking kidding me? You dick! Oh, well, it, it didn't go well for you, did it? Yeah, you hit me in the head, but your ass fell down. And you're bleeding out. So, at least I think you're bleeding out. I hope that's you and not me. This is fine. So, uh... <laughs> took, a, took a slight hit on the noggin, but uh, Wolverine 2 fell down and is bleeding to death. Uh, so that's quite funny. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Grayling413, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing very well. I'm still breaking my back working in the manufacturing industry. I've got a couple of decades in me. <laughs> Retired the hell with work. Uh, right, well, um, that changes things slightly because, uh, yes. Strange. Uh, that definitely didn't go... That didn't work out for him as well as he thought it probably would. I copy. So let's thump the Warhammer because we've got plenty of time to uh, deal with that other guy. Right. We, if we're really lucky, we could take this out in one shot. If the Thumper Cannon hits the torso and we follow it up with a bunch of missiles, that is bye-bye Warhammer. I tell you what, I gotta figure out if the uh, the war hamster actually works in this uh, patch. Um, I don't know if any of the changes. Uh, I may have to have a word with bloody doves actually. Not sure. We'll have to experiment. Right, this should work. That missed entirely. God damn it! Eighty-six percent. You bastard! Come on. That's some bullshit. That was like, yeah, this is no. No. The universe has decided nay. Orders. Right. Uh, he's going initiative four. You're going at six. You've got plenty of time to sort this out. This is fine. We're totally lucky what could go wrong here. Yeah, everything. Pretty much. Right, let's try that again. Only with a slightly less powerful gun. Right, fucker. Dodge this. Oh, I thought you had for a second there. Okay, it's not very happy. Uh, uh, yeah. That's super fucking awkward, actually. Uh, that is really super fucking awkward, because that means that's going to have quite a good shot on it. No, actually, don't. Well, let's fuck it. Let's shoot this thing. Uh, game looks fun. Do you need or want the DLCs before the mod? Um, I believe BCA can operate uh at the, at the install screen for bta um you have the option to tick whether you own the dlc so um it, it can be used without the dlc but uh considering how often the season pass and stuff is of available at like a, a a knockdown sale price i would i would grab the dlc in the next there'll be like an annual or seasonal sale at some point um, and I'd just grab all the DLC for it, because because it'd be worth it. Um, I shall give you a link to the uh, mod page, and you can read up there. Because I'm a scatterbrain, and I forget things. Oh, that's, 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 that's a structure damage. Oh! That nearly got him. Nearly got him. Uh, the annoying thing is that's laying on the floor. But, uh, yeah, short, short, slightly less rambly version is, yes, the DLC is good. Yes. <laughs> Bamboozle has the right of it there. 
But yeah, m more often than not, if you keep an eye on like Humble Store or uh, sometimes even Paradox itself does does a does a sale for the DLC, you can you can pick it up for peanuts. Uh, let's just ruin this Warhammer because why not? Actually, no. What we're we gonna do? Can we reach that? We can't reach that. We're just leaving that Wolverine laying on the ground for now. Oh, what a surprise! The uh, Warhammer was destroyed by a machine gun ammo uh, explosion. That never happens. It happens every single time. At least if it's a stock Warhammer, because that's that's what happens with Warhammers. <laughs> um, did he just decide to just lay there? Oh no, he's already gone. Yes, that's why he's laying there. He already acted. I'm like, derp. Excellent, no problem. Uh, so what's this actually got on it? Oh, it's got Endo. It's got Endo and Pharaoh. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, can we leg it. Let's try legging it. That is not. That's not the leg. That's the head, which is which is good because he's already bleeding out. So uh, that that's fine. Uh, sure. Uh, can we decapitate him with a tank? That's a question. Confirmed. Yeah, you, you got to be a little bit careful where you buy it from, because, uh, yeah, obviously you, you want to be off the same platform and stuff. It's very true. Yeah, I think it's very different styles, Roach Mogul. I think, yeah, as, as you say, the, if you want your, your stompy, your stompy, heavy mechs the, the the western interpretation is definitely what you want whereas yeah the the the, the eastern interpretation is usually very balletic All go. oh All got him in the head Here we go. nice ah uh, that might be worth salvaging you know eastern mechs is mechs on roller skates <laughs> Uh, it's funny because it's basically true. Let's get this done. Uh, okay, where is our target gone? He's up there somewhere. He's decided to make himself scarce, which I can't really blame him for. What can I do for you? So we're going to reserve all the way down to one because uh, I want to see where he is. Okay, he's in initiative five. Initiative five with a PPC. That could be a lot of things. That could be a lot of things. Oh, we can actually get visual light. That's handy. It is a... Double time. Let's go. It is a battle master. Wow, it's a battle master. Ooh, it's a posh battle master. Hold the phone. Uh, That's got the same suffix as one of the Lancelots had, I think. Let me go here. That's braced. Is that the posh one? Is that a, oh, it's a dual cockpit. Oh, yeah. Come on, mech. Nice. That's pretty tasty, actually. That's pretty tasty. Um, Let's see if we can hit it with a tag, because that'd be funny. Our primary target is taking damage. I think the tag was the only thing we hit it with, so that kind of works. Right, okay. We're firing uphill, which is never fun. Waiting for orders. Um, But let's do it. Let's hope we, he doesn't run away, because this is going to be absolute hell trying to shoot at him up from from up a hill, but never mind. It'll be fine. Uh, has anyone played Phantom Brigade? I saw Phantom Brigade, and I thought it was a very clever idea. Um, But I wasn't super keen on it myself. I, I, I chose not to invest, because um, it just... Yeah. Yeah, just just wasn't keen. Thought it was very very clever, very clever technical idea, but yeah. Uh, Super Robot Wars. Uh, is that where all the 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 mecha from all the different franchises are in one game? Or am I thinking of something else? I think it's that one, isn't it? 
Ah, this is this is the glorious uh, auto cannon FCS I'm using, which means I can actually shoot uphill with this thing. This is good. Uh, yes, shoot shoots. Fucking missed it, but aside from that, that's fine. Two pilots in a dual cockpit mech, but then I bet Battletech would explode. Yes, I imagine the the code would probably shit its own brains out at that point. Yes. <laughs> since, since, yeah, that was very much never, never designed to be uh, uh, an option in vanilla. So that's probably confused the hell out of it. Um, should we go with Inferno? Or should we go with regular? I think we go with regular, because we do Inferno, we might... Well, I suppose Inferno might shut down. If he shuts down, it'll be an easy target. Okay, let's do Inferno. Fuck it. It's utterly mad. A lot of fun. Spaceship Yamato! <laughs> Excellent. Just give me big O. <laughs> I... <laughs> honestly, every time I see the title of that anime... I honestly, I just think, is it deliberate? Because Big O means something else in my v v vocabulary. Hey, uh, bloody doves, how's it going? Did you into exploding yet? Y uh, yes. I think that's the correct turn of phrase. Uh, but just in case, those of you do not run, d uh, do not know, are new to the stream. Bloody doves is the head honcho behind um, Battletech Advanced. Uh, he frequently streams all his, uh, his tinkering and stuff, so go check him out. And uh, sometimes he comes here and he's horrified what he finds, uh, more often than not. So uh, there he is. And he's gone again, which is fine. Big, awesome, big orgasm has piston fist, you tell me. Exactly, yeah. I always thought big O means, means orgasm, but apparently it means giant robot too. So uh, it's, who knows? Yes! Melty melties! How much melty did we get? Plus 10 heat, and we set it on fire. Okay. That might have been a shit idea, but never mind. Uh, This is going to be awful, so probably... Oh, we can't even get close enough to sense lock it. That sucks. Uh, it's in a couple of the Super Robot Wars games. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Let's move. Okay, once again, I've actually made it harder to hit because it's on fire. Um, which is a bit embarrassing. Right, I'm going to dial one of these off. Yeah, that was a bit stupid of me. Never mind. Oh, two out of three! I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't think I've ever watched it. I knew it existed, but I, I, I legit don't think I ever watched an episode. I, I think it was like... I think it was like uh, Saturday morning stuff in my teens, I think. Nice of them to send one mech. Hey, Penguin Conspiracy! Well, this is an assassinate mission, and I killed his escorts. So, uh, there were more mechs. Uh, there are just significantly less now. Oh. Hit. Miss. Hit. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, more to the point, he'll take it, but... Right, uh, let's go with bees in the small launcher. That's not terrible. Target confirmed. Yeah, I'll be a bit miffed if uh, he, he happens to run away. I don't think he's taken enough damage yet, to be honest. Right, is he gone? He has gone. Okay, so can we actually see him from here? Yeah, we can. Right, I remember Battle Lord. Shooting uphill. 81%. Let's do it. Miss. Hit. 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 It's fine. It's damage you're down to do later. And then you need to get back on there as quick as possible. That's not a problem, bloody doves. I know how things can happen. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably going to be going for a break after this, so uh, I'm, I'm going to inadvertently do the same thing back to you. <laughs> That's okay, not a problem. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Right, we... Oh, no, we got this, we got this. Uh, to be honest, both the, both the missions we've had so far have been going pretty okay. 
Um, I think we've been quite lucky with uh, spawns and stuff. Yep, let's let's tag this guy with all the things. Let's do it. Hamster luck. <laughs> well, you see, that, that we we had this discussion about hamster luck. Is that it's 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 great when it's great, and it's not when it's not. It's kind of like, you know, Samira isn't trying to. Well, the thing is, <laughs> Samira actually did two hot drops, but we did okay with them, which was a bit baffling. Um, so yeah, business as usual, but we 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 did okay. Uh, again, probably not going to hit with most of this, but actually, honestly, we'll turn that laser off because that's probably just going to just generate heat, to be honest. On yep, nope, nope, artillery shell literally hit the moon. That's great. I keep forgetting, I'm like, hey, Inferno missiles, and I keep forgetting that when the hex on, is on fire, it's actually harder to hit the bloody mech. Waiting for order. It's, it, it's, it, it becomes very important. <laughs> This must be fucking terrifying for this guy. We're just running up the hill, shooting our guns into the sky like a bunch of crazy net mech. Uh, rednecks. Net mechs? Like a, ba a bunch of crazy net mechs. I need a coffee. Jesus Christ. Of course you hit the moon. You're on the moon. Uh, well, okay. We hit a separate moon. How how's that? Oh, he felt that one. That one got him. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't hit the broadside of a moon. You're on the moon. You missed the moon. Actually, that's a good point. Yes, we were on the moon and actually fired the artillery hard enough that it made uh, escape uh, velocity and and probably ruined somebody else's day on an entirely different planet. Right. Yes. Valid. Valid, valid. Uh, thank you very much for the 100 bits, Magnato. Welcome, welcome to suffer the LRMs and PPCs of outrageous false fortune. Indeed. Thank you very much for that. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to do much, but eh, screw it. All weapons, go. I mean, eventually his armor's going to give way. Just, just, just not yet. Commander. Uh, wait, the Lancelot's in five, isn't it? Where is the bloody Lancelot? Where is the bloody Lancelot? It has the number five next to it, hamster. Where is it? There it is. Right. Jesus Christ. Receiving Where is my mind? Anyway. On my way. Double time. Right. We are not doing Battle Lord this time. 46, that's pretty bad. But we can get away with fighting all of them, so screw it. Roger that. And only one of them hit, which is fine. I really hope he doesn't run away. Standing by. Cause that'd be bad. That'd be really bad. Understood. Moving fast. You see, this is why I, I took this route because I thought going the other way, this this we'd be encountering this all the time, but I think I've got lucky so far. Uh reminds me. Four hundred shotgun shells and fire them into the Oh my god. That's I bet the neighbours were fucking terrified. Well the neighbours were probably used to it by then, I imagine. I always think it's a bad idea to do the whole firing into the air thing, because you're going to be ruining someone's day at some point, possibly your own if you're not careful. They were there to keep the sea in line, yes! Just in case the sea tried to start anything. Yep. Checks out. Checks out. Uh, 23. None, this is not going to work. 24%, sorry. Firing on target. I take it back. That's a hit. One out of three. I'll take that. Right, what's this poor bastard going to do? Please let him walk forward, because if he walks forward, it's going to make it so easier for me. Nearly took the arm off, but that's fine. It's always the hunchback they're picking out. Picking out? Picking on. Wait, did he just... He just did. He did the thing. Okay, I think we've got this guy. I don't think we're going to be taking him intact, but we've got him. 
The C can't be getting upper T. Got to make sure it knows who's boss. Yeah, C. She? I'll teach you, she. Uh, what if we get behind him and start shooting him in the butt? Actually, where's his where's his escape? Oh. He's got to go through me to run away. That's not happening. Wow, we've been super lucky today so far. I'm I'm waiting for the other shooter drop. I copy. So you're gonna salvage this beamer? Um, maybe. Depends. Depends how gentle we're feeling. We 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 might try. And, and and take it in one piece. Uh, whether we we will or not, I I, I don't know. Someone would drive into the sea and lose their car. <laughs> right. So the firing shotguns into the sky and driving cars into the sea. It does sound like it sounds like a wild time. Okay, this will probably destroy it. Come. Completely. Uh, but never mind, eh? Alright, it's just annoyed. Good to go. Um, the universe does seem to feel like defying me today. The tide waits for nobody, yeah. Um okay this this should be this should be fairly horrible explosions oh yep there you go one part mission successful i i think that was one part <laughs> yeah i was trying to be gentle but it didn't work I think I got a nice Wolverine too, though. Our insurance doesn't pay out if you drive to the sea. Really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. They only took a two-point loss in that. That's not great. Well, it's not my fault if, you know, they put their ammo in silly places. I, I can't be held responsible for blowing it up if they put their ammo in silly places. Um, do we want a partisan? I don't know. Four auto cannon fives? It's not bad. Um, why do you only have eight units still? Uh, probably because I forgot to upgrade the thingy. Uh, I missed your beautiful rendition. Oh, I, it does happen from time to time. What did I, what did I, what did I miss? I've seen these things your great house fools wouldn't believe. Attack ships with the shoulder of Karita. Ah, very good, Blade Runner. Very good. It's alright. You, you do you do sometimes miss things in chat when you're me. Uh, yeah, I'm tempted to go for the Wolverine too. Maybe. What else we got? Artemis. Uh, ooh, Command Console. Still got plenty of ferrous. Ferro fibrous at the moment. Uh, what else? Um, hmm. Yeah, that's the aforementioned one part of the Battle Master, which is what I thought would happen. Uh, I'm going to go with the Wolverine 2. Okay. Yeah. To be honest, most of their stuff was buggered when we, uh, when we fought them. Oh, actually, oh, we got all of it. And we got the Warhammer part, and we got the Battle. That, that's actually pretty good. And four AC5s, and the Artemis, and the Pharaoh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I renamed all of my mechs to Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a good for a laugh if you want to annoy some planners. We're attacked by things we can't name. Well, that doesn't help me much. <laughs> Star Colonel, we're attacked by things I can't talk about. Uh? <laughs> But for societal reasons, I can't can't mention any of this. Ah, oh, okay. Oh wow, actually I don't think we've got have we got any room for a mech? We may have to get rid of one. Um right, yes. I don't think we've got a spare slot. Have we got a spare slot? We do not have a spare slot. That's awkward. Uh uh. 
Poo sticks. Hmm. Which is annoying. Because I did have plans for that dervish. Um, I mean, the Irby is... The Irby is absolute comedy. Um, but... I, f I feel we can probably live without it. Only two bays. Hamster, I taught you better than this. I only really just remembered to upgrade the power conduits. I forget. I, I forget the things. Because, look, we couldn't actually... We couldn't actually do an awful lot. I only really just remembered to upgrade the power conduits. Because we haven't... We've only got access to... Hang on, that's battle armor. Uh, where's Lance 2? There you go. Improved power conduits. I was working on it. I'm working on it. See? I was on the right path. Okay, right. Uh, what was I saying? So. Nope. Try again. As comic as the Irby was, it's literally got two medium lasers and a small laser in it. So if we were going to ditch anything, I would probably ditch this. Though it has lasted far beyond its... its shelf life, largely because we stuffed it full of incredibly silly things. And somehow it hasn't died, despite the fact it's got an XXL engine in it. <laughs> but other than that, I think maybe we'll bench that one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's has a, it, it had a great uh, niche in the early game of running up to people and kicking them in the shins from about three screens away, and uh, losing all the evasions. That's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of really nice stuff on it as well, so, yeah. Right, where's that Wolverine? Oh, wow, okay, we can actually build a bunch of stuff here. Oh, Jesus Christ! I've got enough for a Shadow Hawk. Not that I really want one. Um... Uh... Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh... Oh, that is the Wolverine, too. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh... That we're probably going to immediately going to sell. In fact, let's, let's do that now, actually. Um, I really should look at my salvage. That's the thing I should do. Take the trash can to the closet here. Uh, right. Ready? Yes. Don't mind if I do. And then we're going to get rid of it because we certainly don't need it. Excellent. That's some pocket change. Oh, wow. Okay. Apparently I've got a bunch of stuff that I could potentially get rid of. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, half a mil, don't mind if I do. Right. Uh, Wolverine 7H, that's the good one. Okay, let's have a look at that. Uh, is there anything else I can build? Uh, there's a vedette I haven't got rid of. Uh... I could probably ditch a load of my light salvage, to be honest. I could probably scrap some of that and make some money. Right, let's have a quick look at this thing. Uh, wow, that is that is a uh, full of the slots. Holy Moses! <laughs> wow. Okay, that's uh, that's yeah, that's um. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's how Pharaoh and Endo works. You are a hundred percent correct. Uh Yeah, okay. I mean Hmm. Yeah, it's got it's got case on this side. Uh I I I, I can only presume the reason the case is there is that then when that explodes, that's that's where it stops, I guess. But because yeah, obviously, you can't have case of the arms. Yeah, yeah, because it, it it prevents it traveling, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's. Uh, Actually, I really should be going for my break since it's gone six o'clock. Uh, Fitzy's ammo. Oh, 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 okay, Royal. Oh, wow, okay, so this is going to have pretty awesome heat delta. Okay, I'm good with this. Wouldn't it be better to put the... Uh, 
arm ammo in the case torso. Uh, oh, that's true. It doesn't have an extra light engine in it, does it? Yeah, probably. But then, yeah, I mean, Feetsy's ammo. Mind you, we have had bad experiences with Feetsy's ammo before. Um, and then see where that puts us. One ton overweight. Of course it would. Um, we have like an EL medium floating around. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, what? Um, wow, this thing runs stupidly cold. That is a stupidly cold running mech. Um,. What else have I got in the way of ballistics? Uh, nothing that would probably work because then we have to find room for the uh, room for the ammo, which is an in interesting conundrum. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> Face ammo. Yeah, face ammo is not what you want. You don't want face ammo. Nobody wants face ammo. Um, Artemis good. Uh, I that's probably gonna do the job. I think, in my humble opinion, it's pretty fucking quick as well. Jesus Christ, six nine. Yep, no, that's a that's a speedy boy. Um, that'd be quite a nice uh, nice scout or something. Uh, XL engine, and then ditch the Pharaoh. Uh, here's what we do. Remove the Pharaoh, add an XL, do things. Uh, probably not a bad idea, actually. Right, hang on. Oh, uh, yeah, because that's only, like, one ton, isn't it? Uh, our solitary... Uh, oh, no, that goes there. <laughs> I can't fit the engine! Yes, you can, you buffoon. Right, uh, okay, which then means, uh, oh, yes, yeah, two tons spare. I am two tons Kamun! Well, actually, to be brutally honest, and everyone's gonna pass out when I do this, uh, yeah, uh, we, we've got the heat overhead for the jump jets. <laughs> And then some. Oh, okay. This is this has literally got legs. Okay. Two tons left. Um We're gonna ECM. We have ECM. Who needs jump jets more DACA? Um, I mean There's not an awful lot more DACA you could actually fit in this, <laughs> one way or the other. Uh hey, can we act hunter killer scout mech? Yeah, that's definitely gonna be the the driving force, I think. Right, I got half a ton left, and... Hmm. What the hell do I do with that half a ton? Because the thing is, the support slot's in the head, which has already been taken up with a pulse. Uh, what the hell do I do with that last half ton? Hmm. Uh, how much does a UAC weigh these days? Right, UAC's 9, which, yeah, you're not going to get anything better than that for less tonnage. Ah, uh, Are we going to need battle armor claws? <laughs> We've got BA handholds. <laughs> BA handholds on it. There you go. That's that. <laughs> we've, only, we've only actually got one set of... I got Actually, I'll I tell you, that's something I also have got to do. I've got to fix the uh, other set of battle armor we've got, because that got broke. Um... Artemis 6 with an uh, uh, da, 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 da. streak SRM 6 and ammo maybe replace the Artemis 6 with a streak uh, that's going to be the same tonnage isn't it because SRM 6 is 3 and a streak is 4 and a half so wouldn't really be gaining an awful lot I don't think or is it better? Or is that actually better? Artemis is a ton. Do I have any streakers or ammo? 
Yeah, but what I mean is that's fairly comparable, though, isn't it? Uh, although I suppose, yeah, you have the whole everything hits all at once thing. That's a good point. Uh, streak its rim. Oh, yeah, of course. It, costs the, it has the extra clustering and the evasion ignore. That's a good point. It's a good point. <sighs> Nine damage per missile? Is it really that much more? I don't use streaks that often. Oh yeah, eight times six. Uh, nine times six. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. Streaking Wolverine, the X Men story that a Jedi wouldn't tell you. Oh god, that would be. What? Wait, why would the Jedi be with the Wolverine? With with the X Men? I'm 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 slightly perplexed. It doesn't take much. Okay, I really think my my left mouse might be getting my left mouse button might be getting a bit tired. It's fine. This is fine. There we go. How about that? No, I mean neither. That never occurred to me. I know about. I thought about the clustering and stuff, but that never uh, that never really occurred. There we go. So it bounces around. It can have uh, BA. It's got Guardian. Indeed, reading the item description explains the item description. Reading. It's an important skill. Everyone should everyone should take advantage of it. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. Right, since I'm probably going to be restarting fairly shortly, let's go fix up that BA because uh, this this got a bit fuck sword. And so if we've now got multiple stuff with uh, handholds, I completely forget. Oh, we've only lost one medium rifle out of that. That's not so bad. I just write stuff and hope it works out. Well, it, here's the thing. I don't. I don't blame. I don't blame you, bloody doves. I always blame myself. It's not like it's kind of like I didn't know this. It's bloody doves' fault. It's like no, it isn't. It's me. I just forgot to read it. Right. Um. So. Ah, reasonable. Not point three. Okay. So that's just a straight replacement there. That that works out. It's probably my fault. I accept this blame. No, nah, it isn't. It's it's just your average. It's streamer brain. That's why I always I always blame it on its streamer brain. Okay, cool. Right, we fixed that. That's good. Uh, let's get this wangled. Whoops, that's entirely the wrong thing. Uh, eventually this marauder is going to get fixed, but it's not anytime soon. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, okay, what state is the fight in? That's the important question. Uh, ooh, I, okay, one more mission should theoretically do it. Okay, cool. Right, it is gone caught past six, so we are running over a smidge, which is fine. I'm gonna put a manual save in there. And, uh, I'm gonna have a quick ten minute break, I'm gonna grab a drink, have a comfort break, things like that. Uh, I urge you all to do the same, and I shall uh, see you in about 10 minutes or so. So, see you in a bit. I do. Hey, fashionably late, as always. There we go, that's better. Ah, right. Take a little bit longer than I intended. There we go. Uh, thank you very much, Bamboozle. Uh... Yes, uh, Bamboozle Ballet and uh, Roach Mogul have been very kind and bought me a ton of uh, Solaris DLC, which is very kind. Uh, we should be doing some more of that on Monday, because uh, I'm probably going to need tomorrow to recover again, probably, <laughs> knowing me. So there we go. Right, uh, one more mission. One more mission. One more mission. Oh, okay, except I might get some engineering going. There we go. Yay! Look, Clance 2 control! Woohoo! Uh. 150,000. Nice. There we go. That'll make that'll make Bloody Doves happier. Um, we, we actually haven't gotten him for morale yet, actually. That might not be a terrible idea. Okay. Two more days. Uh. Tag team. Oh, it's gonna end with a banger! Okay. This'll be interesting. 
Oh, it's only two and a half skulls. This is fine. This is absolutely null problems. The one thing I f did forget to do uh, was spend XP. So we'll take Rotomogul out for a second because we got you some XP last time. Uh, we'll about oh, Steam Setter got bonked in the head because of course they did. Uh, who else we got? Uh, we got served. Served has been in Centurion apparently. Okay, fine, that works. Uh, I'm actually taking a decent amount of casualties. Actually, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little worrying. You know, it happens. Um, we're doing the Mega Forge. The Mega Forge has been in the Kentaro a couple of times. That works. Tag team, let the derp commence. Yes, quite possibly. Uh, oh, we had wait, we have more battle armor this time around. This is good. Right, who else has been? Who were the two poor sods who wanted to be battle armor? Was it? I've got this written down. I think it was Lummox Beast, wasn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure they've been in there. But they volunteered, if memory serves. Mad people. Right, okay. So, still got to work on that dervish. That's that's something I may have to try and do before the stream is going on. Hey, Hangleford, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, oh, Kentaro. <laughs> It's a royal one. Is it a royal one? Uh, no, it isn't. It's uh, it's not a royal one at all. It's um, it's just a very posh one. Oh, we had was it last time we had a royal. I've forgotten. What's royal? What's not royal? Who knows? Right. Okay. Are we good? I think that's everybody. We've got still got the tonk. Uh, oh yes, mounting battle armor. Good plan. Right. Uh, probably put that on the Owens. Put the Theseus on the Kintaro. This is good. Right, and watch Samurai put us in the worst place possible. Probably. Maybe. This will be fine. Ugh, I didn't have time to make a coffee, so uh, I poured myself some more fizzy pop. Uh, I fully intend on having a drink drink later on. I'm going to finish off what's left of my rum, because... Uh, my brain will probably be spinning at 100 miles an hour later, so uh, <laughs> we're like, ah, non-consciousness, yay. Oh, well, I'll put my uh, headphones on a bit rapidly. It's uh, moved my glasses into the wrong place. Let's move those around. Oh, the perils of headphones. Oh. Thank you very much for the follow, uh, Dowel 300 WSM. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why is the rum always gone? I blame a hamster. Yeah, me too. It was... <laughs> Bless him. My, my dad got it got it for me for Christmas. Um, and it was literally... It's like... I opened I opened it up. And... It literally said rum spirit drink. And I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, bless you, dad. What have you got me? Um, I think it's from Marks and Spencers. Other supermarkets are available. And I was thinking, oh man, what's this going to be like? And it's actually really, really fucking nice. <laughs> so it doesn't actually have a name. It is just the rum spirit drink you can get from Marks and Spencers. But it's really fucking nice. Obviously polluted with uh, uh, Coke. Other fizzy drinks are available. Uh, the joys of Merc life, rum destruction, crippling debt. Exactly. Can you taste the extra ghosts? <laughs> If if there are extra ghosts in it, they're super tasty. They are super tasty ghosts. Hey, it's like a Memnon! Hey, hey, what's he doing over there? Oh wait, he's on our side. Oh fuck. Oh well, that's no good, is it? Oh god. Uh, fancy own brand stuff can be really good. You need a mortgage to stop there for groceries. Oh yeah, no, this was. This was a special birth, uh, special Christmas treat. Hello. Oh, here we are. Uh, what have they? Oh, that's a champion for a start. Where have they deployed? They have deployed quite a while back. Oh yes, Agamemnon, the idiot. Oh wow, they are miles away from us. Well, if they get... Oh, ensure the Karitan Lance Evax. Well, great. Well, they're closer than we are, so there's not much I can do about that. Right, what have they got? A champion at 1N2. 
Oh, quite similar to the one I had. Ostrock! Ostrock! Quick draw! Okay, they're probably doomed. They're probably doomed, but, you know. That can't be helped. Make sure we turn the guns on, because that's always a good idea. Right. Let's see if we can uh, achieve something before they get themselves killed. Uh, yeah, they're going to get this before us, but there we go. You'll get an assassination mission to kill Agamemnon eventually. Yeah, probably straight after this one if he survives it. We've decided we don't like this guy anymore. We're going to get rid of him. Scuttle, but Oh, wait, oh, we can go over the top here. I didn't think we could do that. Apparently we can. Didn't think that's an option, but it is. So that's that's a thing we're doing now. Free the pilots. So on the absolute worst lance possible. RNG, I got you, fam. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I accidentally reserve the wrong? Oh no, I've got two battle armors. I'm, I'm, of course, I've, I've done that. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna get there roughly at the same time. They're probably gonna just ping the enemy earlier than we are, which is fine. On you, this is not an issue. All right. Okay. Oh, we're up against some Vikings apparently. Uh, wait. That's not the three hundred and thirty-first. Who is that? Oh, that must be the other, the other lot. I just advised the friendly AI and BT is absolutely brain dead. It's it's not always the best, but the thing is, it's usually not so bad, because usually you don't have to worry about keeping them alive. Annoyingly, I'm going to have to worry about keeping these guys alive, so uh, that's just awkward. So who the hell is this? Oh, well, one of them is driving a Vulcan. That's not the symbol I saw. So what's the other lot? Okay, come on, yarn folk. Ah, okay. I was about to say, come on, BattleTech, the 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 AI BattleTech knowledge repository that is probably my chat right now. What what faction has a has a long ship as a as a symbol? Uh, yarn folk's probably a good shout, actually. The folk of yarn. They like knitting. Okay, uh, that's a slightly less shit Vulcan, but it is a bit broken. That's fine. The stunt doubles for the 331st. <laughs> Space Vikings, yeah. Stunt doubles. Yeah, we would be the 331st, but, uh, yeah. Oh, can we actually not get a... Wait, no, we must have done, because the Owens made it. So, obviously being a hunchback, you're not as fast as an Owens, makes sense. Uh, Standing by. what's the best option here? Because they're probably actually they're probably going to crest this hill, so maybe we should go this way instead. All right, we're actually we're going to arrive at roughly the same time, which is yeah. actually quite useful. That's good. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Jaeger thorn folk, right? <laughs> Jaeger bomb folk. I don't know. Uh, yeah. is that all the uh, that's all the sensor lock we've got, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. Uh, oh, you can't go that way. You really can't go that way. Oh, well. All right, what'd that look like? Terrible! It. Yes, I am. What kind of jump ship are you most looking to purchase? A uh, long ship? Yeah. That well-known spacefaring vessel. All right, that's going to do nothing other than make me feel slightly better. Ah yes, I, I I remember this from uh, from other other mods that have this particular mission in. It's always the allies always reserve all the way down, so they're like, hey, if you want to get shot at, that suits me. Okay. Or in reality, it's just the AI playing reserve games with itself, which is actually quite funny to watch at the best of times. Right, come on, guys, you can do something now. Look, there's this. He's out in the open. There's there's no one. Sure, sure. Be like that. I hear you. Be like that. That's fine. Resting my mech. Uh, jump ship insurance policy. Yeah. 
good old Ed Corbu and his uh, parrot parrot avatar. Was it a parrot? Parakeet? It was something along those lines. Long jump ship. Yeah. <laughs> I think a long jump ship would be something different. See this Karita Lancer going, oh, I thought we, we were clever with our reserving. Wait, they've got battle armor. Shit. What's the chances these gonna just, guys are going to just melt themselves when they fire? This is quite funny. Wait, they can't be reserving that often unless there's there's two lances out there in addition to what we've already got. I'm confused. Because that means they would have out-reserved all of us. No? No. I'm... Eh? Habla no espanol. Right, uh, so we're going to wait until some of these move before I start pinging people. He's pining after Star Ligera office supplies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what was it last time? Staplers? Staplers last time, wasn't it? Um, what other stationery could we have? Paperclips? Paperclips. Yes, yes, they are. They are reserving the reserve. That is exactly what they're doing. Except now they've decided to move, start moving, which is uh, interesting. Oh, my poor, poor Vulcan. You have chosen poorly. You have chosen poorly. No eternal life for you, because uh, you're now going to get sensor locked and beaten the brakes off of. I reserve the right to refuse reservations, yeah. So basically, they have just sacrificed this um, uh, Vulcan, is what's basically just happened there. Commander. Uh, now, you see, I could go over there and kick him and remove all of his evasion, but unfortunately, that would leave the Owens with not an awful lot of evasion, and that's what's really clever about it. Uh, so let's see if I can be clever about it. Uh... Four evasion is not, still not a huge amount. Oh, five evasion? We've gone back on ourselves. Six evasion. Look at that! My pilot did the maths. Six evasion. Yep, we'll do that. That works. Um, What's the hit chance? 99. Right, don't miss. That's all I'm saying. Watch this. This is great. He's got to go past it once, past it twice, loop around, and then kick it in the shins. Nice! <laughs> right. That makes it fun. Am I wrong if I say that almost no stock mech in MechWarrior 5 uses AMS? I... don't think there's very many of them, no. I, I'm not super familiar with uh, stock builds in Macquarie 5, honestly. I, I kind of let everyone else do the do the mech building. <laughs> but yeah, to my knowledge, I, I think stock, no, because um, the base game of uh, Macquarie 5 is set in, what, 30... When is it? I can't remember. But I don't think AMS was super prevalent. Because it's a bit like uh, Battletech. The base game is set in 3025. Um, so, yeah, you don't have all the fancy tech. Unless, of course, the Star League caches and stuff. Right, 65%. Terrible, but it might work. It didn't work. But I woke him up. I may have hit the guy standing behind him, though. That would have been great. Ooh, Firefly. Okay. This is an interesting lance. <laughs> Aftermarket fit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the classic uh, British mechanic thing where they sort of go, that's going to cost you AMS. It's going to cost you extra. Good to go. Right. 
Uh, oh, no. I forgot my HVAC does AoE damage. If I hit him, I'm going to plink the Owens, which I don't want to do. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, well. I guess we'll have to switch it off for a turn because I don't want to damage my own shit. Oh, uh, fuck. That's a peach of a shot as well. Uh, never mind. Next time, Gadget. Next time. I'm slightly with if these yarn folk turn up with something absolutely kick ass, I'm gonna be slightly worried. Okay, I, mean, I th yeah, okay. Oh, I, I failed to look north. I absolutely failed to look north. That was an oopsie. That's fine. Um, right, what have we got? I hear you. Taro, Citroen, right, okay. Get over here and shoot this a lot. It'll be funny. The, the eternally shrugging Vulcan, yeah. Uh, check the at a wiki, the only is a... Uh... That's the only one. Yep, sound, sounds about right. Yeah, a AMS was not super prevalent. It simply shrugs. It is. It's got very big shoulder pads. Take this. It's also covered in missiles. And it's falling over. Oh! Solid! Uh, also, that's uh, midsection exposed. I'm listening. Uh, I think I got a target for you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Confirmed. Vulcan shrugged, yeah. Uh, no, not bees. Not bees, no. And explosions. No. I think I just hit on something. That should be dead by now. Hey, Smeeble, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Shenanigans also sounds the right way we do it here. It is indeed, yes. No, I was fully expected that to explode, but it, apparently it didn't. Uh, this Ostrock has chosen suicide, which is... F oh my god, he just headshot that guy. Okay, fine. Works works for me! <laughs> works for me! But take it a wee nap, not dead. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Smeeble, how's it going? Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Let's give you a shout out there. There we go. Yeah, I was about to complain, but literally this lunatic Ostrog uh, jumped over the hill and shot this Centurion square in the face. So, I mean, can't argue. Oh, it's the one with the uh, funky uh, grenade launchers. I actually quite like those grenade launchers. They're kind of a little niche, but I, I like them. Okay, this this should do it. If this doesn't do it, I I I may start crying. Cover. Thank you. Didn't want one anyway. I was gonna say if that didn't do it, nothing will. A HVAC shot to kill the senti. Ooh, if I can get there, that's a good shout. I don't know if I can get there in time, though. And it's entirely possible at this rate, my, my, my allies might actually do it. Yeah, that's a good point, because the, uh, the AoE damage. Yeah, that's a really good shout. I, I do forget that, actually. I, I get the context of the, AI, the, the, the AoE damage damaging other mechs. I, I don't process it for locational stuff, but yeah, that actually makes perfect sense. He bought a Phoenix Hawk to a desert. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Commander. Right, I don't think this tank can see anything. Nope. Tonk sees nothing. Uh, what can the battle armor do? Uh, oh, we could do the battle armor. Can we do the battle armor? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a falcon. Uh, what do we got? Stub snubbies. I'm here. Is it worth doing the battle armor shuffle? Let's do the battle armor shuffle. What can we hit from here? 71, 30. Let's annoy this firefly. Why not? Going turbo. Just send out a Mackie, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forgot Battle Lord again. Son of a gun. Oh, wow, that has no armor. I'm receiving you. 
I was not super aware of how much armor that did not have. Let's get this done, folks. That's actually quite funny. Right, uh, where'd you come from, the Owens? Um, we well, could swarm that one, I suppose. No, 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 get back on the bus, it's fine. Back on the bus. Right, okay. Yes, Commander. Who was going at nine? Who the fuck was going at nine? Oh, wait. What? What is this? What is that? That is a... That is a periphery arms locust with a reloading RL5. An RL5 and a bunch of chem lasers. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what optimism looks like. Uncle Owens. Yeah, that's true. That that is that is what optimism looks like, but that that's that's okay. I'm I'm here for it. 253 armor, yeah. Right. Uh how many can we ping here? That's two. We could make it three. Uh so that's that one, that one, that one. Yeah, let's do that. I'm helping. Got a lock. What do they do to you, Locust, you poor child? I mean that's that's a periphery arms classic, that is. Oh, hello! That's good, they DFA'd the Ostrog. And his leg came off. And he fell over. <laughs> I mean... And he's bleeding out, because... D you know? That's... That's how he rolls. Now, immediately, that has removed all of the... Ev oh, what? Okay, I see, I see. And then the Locust will sputter some rockets at it and achieve nothing. Good stuff. Totally worth it. With the rest of my lawn still to go yet, I'm sure nothing bad will happen to that locust. At all. Remo, I only have to keep one of these jokers alive. This is this is fine. Right, we gotta remember try and try and hit the centurion with the H fac. That's what we need to do. Yeah, they don't like that Ostrog. God damn. Uh, they should have spent more at Mech Tech. Maybe they would have paid him a few more hundred C bills. I don't think any amount of money could salvage this situation, I'll be brutally honest with you. Ooh, they really got it in for that. I'd, I'd feel this, this could have been my Owens. That could have quite easily have been my Owens. Uh, but it wasn't, so that's good. I'm I'm happy about that. Right, what are my hit chances on that Centurion from uh, this range? 60. Uh, but if it hits, it should go pop. Theoretically. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Yeah, I wish I had some precise strike, but I don't. Right, now switch one laser off. Doing what Ostrog's are best for ablating here, yeah, apparently. Right, come on, HVAC! Don't think that worked. I think it hit it, but I don't think it worked. But it might have missed. It might have actually landed next to it. This is fine. Oh, wow, he hit me in the noggin as well. It's headshots for everyone today, apparently. What can I do for you? Um, just impacted on the surface. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. I suppose I really should get rid of this uh, firefly that's like laying on the floor over here. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, Falcon, sorry. How do you spell overkill? He left. Good plan. Star Wars. Oh, yes. Should have took that myself. Yeah, I don't... 
I don't know if it... I think it did hit. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a particular, like, uh, radius. I'm not sure. I think it hit the arm. And that was 70, wasn't it? I don't know how much damage reduction it had on it when I shot it. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if I missed it. I'm not sure. Yes, Commander. Uh, ooh, you are. Oh, god damn it. I forgot target protection again, because I always do. Uh, you can't see anything from over here. That's great. Um, go in that direction, I guess. No, it's fine. I, I I usually get the pop culture references, but yeah, for some reason my my brain failed me on that one. I'm just gonna stand here and shoot because there's uh no reason not to really. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let evolution take care of that uh Ostrock. If he's if he's if his friends are smart enough to bail him out of it, it'll be fine. Uh, no, I wish to I wish to shoot. Shooting is what I wish to do. Right, what we got there? 54. 60! Okay. Why is that better, even though it's further away? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, if we get a lucky hit on the head, that thing is gone. On the trigger. Mm -hmm. He is now panicked, which is good. Right, come on then, fellow Caritans. I'm sure you can dig yourselves out of this situation or be something. But yet, the Ostrock runs away. Good plan. Wise. Wise. And firing at the Enforcer, which is about eight miles away, which has a solitary large laser as its complement of weapons. Wow, these guys have been through it. Commander. God damn. God damn. Uh, we can approximately see nothing from this angle, so let's go here. Got it. But next time round, we might be able to see something next time. Can't, guys. A Centurion is, is is on a plate. If you run over there and punch that Phoenix Hawk, that is also on a plate. Yay! Nice. And fall down. Or oh, unsettled. Unsteady. All of the things that begin with un. Unlikely. Huh. Oh no, it's a quick draw! What will we do? Well, whatever it likes, because you've got no evasion, mate, so uh, bye. Or maybe not. Right, what's the champion going to do? Get really close to somebody, despite the fact it's actually better at range. It's going to murder the Locust. Okay, sure. Wait, did the Locust not move? The Locust didn't move. What the? Because he's it's got no evasion. What the? Okay, that's that's a, that's a bona fide suicide Locust we got there. I don't think the tank is going to get to shoot anything, because it's it's too far away. It's uh, it, It's sad but true. Just like the Metallica song. Right, uh, can we shoot anything with this? Yes, we can. We could shoot the Phoenix Hawk for giggles. Let's do that, because why not? 99. Confirmed. These are good numbers. All weapons are good. Whoa, and that's the leg off. Nice. Critical hit. Wow, that must have had like <laughs> approximately 15 <laughs> structure left on the leg. Uh, another dropship. That's fine. They're at the bottom of the hill. That is the that is the best place for them. Uh, for the longest time, I thought they were singing "Sad Patrol." <laughs> do you want to know something? Do you want to know something funny, Conrad? I used to think they sang something very similar. I I used to think it was "Zed Patrol." Uh, because the the funny thing was when I uh first heard that song um my i believe uh it was on like a mixtape i didn't actually know i didn't have like any proper track listings or something and i thought it was some i thought it was said patrol not sad but true so you're not the only one Waiting on you, 
Uh, right, you can reserve to one. But, you know, if you sing it loud enough, no one's going to notice. Ah, <laughs> oh, Suicide Locust is doing more things. Uh, well, is did, did Oh, wow, it nearly killed that... That nearly killed that Ostrog! Jesus Christ! And decided not to move. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. That's... What's up, boss? That is baffling in its, uh... ...ness. Um, okay. Uh, how about we run over here? Let's leave them to their own devices, frankly. Well, actually, saying that, we could take care of that Phoenix Hall actually. No, we can't, because can't fucking see the thing. Should we come over here and shoot this locust, because it's funny? Not in the radiation field. There we go. Honestly, this locust came hurtling over the hill and has just remained completely stationary ever since. I don't know what its problem is. Oh, we are massively overheating. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. I fucking missed. 89% and it missed with both of them. That's amazing. That's clearly why that locust is unkillable. It is like, haha, mere mortals. Yeah, I tagged it. That's true. Oh my god! Stop shooting my my allies in the back. It's embarrassing. They should. Emphasis should. Right. Okay. Let me go for options here. Me. What can I see? What do my elf eyes see? Uh, my elf eyes see the ability to get uh, four evasion and some cover while shooting at that thing. Let's go. All right, that's good. Are we melting? No, that's even better. Got it. Yeah, I don't think the AOE. Uh, he he left, so that works. I'm not sure how the AoE works with locational stuff. Maybe it's only, like, exterior. I don't know. Congratulations, you won Jam Jam Machine Gun. Or maybe it's like LBX, it has to be in a particular range of the location. So if I hit it in the arm, it only travels to the torso or the leg. So I'd have to hit it in the torso and then it travels to the head. But I don't know, something like that maybe. But otherwise it doesn't matter because he ejected, so... Just as good! What can I do for you? Uh, ruin this Phoenix Hawk at point blank because it'll be funny. Well, not if you overheat, it won't be. Uh huh. Come on, mech warriors. It's go time. I'd be giving up if I was that guy. Yeah, there, there could be immune to splash damage, or or it could be it could be a locational thing. But maybe, maybe that's the case. Right, uh... Oh yeah, we've got reinforcements, I forgot about that. Uh, you can just stay here, no one knows you're here. Uh, can we finish him off? Probably. Uh, he's actually got some half-decent... Oh, oh, he's... Wow, okay. The, the yarn folk stuff is just ruined. Absolutely ruined. That's actually quite funny. Yeah. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna gonna do, I'm gonna do that as A, and where'd it, where'd it go? That as B. And that's gonna get some Bs. Whee! Well, that'll be harder. He left. Result. And he has bees in my damn cockpit! Alright, there's a... Uh, can we actually... Can we see anything? Oh, we can see something. Holy crap. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 52. That's terrible. Probably worse from here. 30, 39. Yep, that's pretty bad. Uh, okay. On the move. Full speed. Um... 
Um, I mean, we could go... Oh, no, if we went for a high explosive, I might hit my my quote-unquote friends. Uh, forget. Oh, it's good! It's good! He's gone! It's in! Three points! Wow. I do like that thumper cannon. I have, I have started to like that thumper cannon. It's it's like a bit like an AC twenty in a slightly di yep that's dead. <laughs> it's like an AC twenty, but you can do AOE damage with it. It's kind of nifty. Yeah, this is this is going very well. We haven't even got the 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 other lance hasn't turned up yet, which is going to equal even more salvage. Standing by. Uh, so that's going to be good. Uh, right, have we dealt with everyone that's up here. I think we have. That, yes, that is true. You do you, you, you do get uh, uh, AC-20 AoE damage. Uh, AoE ammo, that is a fair point. That's 39. That's awful. That's 52. What is that? Lion Force has only got a large laser on it, so that's not going to be that scary, is it? Uh, wow. Really? Okay, that works. What if he's got any ammo left? Oh no, seriously? He's he's got a he's got a bug at AC ten, but he's still got the ammo. Yep, oh dear. Firing a full salvo. Best hope I don't crit that. <laughs> I didn't, he's lucky. Uh the Throngler is the is it the Lancelot? I think it's the Lancelot. Uh yeah, Lancelot. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very bad day for that uh, enforcer. Once again, I don't think the tank's going to be able to see anything. Oh, there you go. Ah, that's what we were talking about. <laughs> Come on, tank. Can you see something? Surely. No. Oh. Sag, tank can't see anything. Uh, right, what have we got? Uh, can we pull shenanigans? Uh, let me long range shenanigans, if so. Let's try it. Uh, oh, yes, we can. Look at that. 81, I'll take it. And I'm going to remember Battle Lord this time, too. I was half a step ahead of you. Oh, he, he's having a bad day, that guy. Right. You screwed with the wrong people. You should probably start running now. Uh, no, we're good, thanks. So, who are they, I wonder? Uh, right. Who's out in the thing? Right, you need to get back on the bus. No problem, Surf Cold. Thank you very much for being part of the stream. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right, back on the bus. It is safe on the bus. We're up a hill with large numbers. Yeah, it's it's all going. It's all coming up fine, honestly. Their stuff is also missing most of its primary armament. Uh, what what we in this this like long term engagement we've been part of? Almost every time we've come up against something, they've been their primary armament has been shot. So it's kind of uh, it's it's kind of funny. Uh, so this is another. Oh yeah, see, yeah, literally. Look, it's got medium cannon and two RL rocket launchers are are gonzo. So they uh, don't really serve much of a purpose. Um, should I shoot that? I mean, I'm virtually going to overheat, so Frank, I might just sense lock it, but then... Uh, uh, well, he might not move. If he's really stupid, he might not move. Let's see how stupid he is. I need to check the uh, heat sinking on that Owens at some point. I oh, funny feeling that maybe running a teensy bit hot. 
Illyrian Lance. Uh, wait, is that another lance on top of the other lance that we've already... There are many lances. No, 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 it's it's this lot. Okay, so that's the Illyrian power tonight? Oh, God, who are they friends with? Is it... Yeah, Illyrian power tonight? I can't remember. I don't know if whose side they're going to be on. Well, not ours, obviously. But there isn't going to be enough left of the other lot that is going to make any difference, so who knows? Right. Uh, Let's do this. Okay. So I'm running a little bit halt. Uh, I think I'll just sort of stick around this ridge line. I think because I can't. I don't think I'm going to see. Oh, hang on. I saw it. I saw a hex. Ah, there we go. Where there's a hex, there's a way. Okay, I've only got one evasion, but that should be fine. Hopefully. Oh god. And boop. That. Oh no, that was a hit. That was a hit. Right. Okay. Now to me, that looked like the damage travelled. This is. See, here's my theory. I think you can only hit the head with splash damage if it hits the torso. Because I think what happened there, we hit the leg and it travelled to the torso. So I think if we hit, hit like the arms and the legs, it won't travel to the head. So I, I think you have to hit it here. Which is very similar to tabletop, because with LBX, if you hit, like, an LBX thing here, it's more liable to cluster around the, 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 this bit. So I, I wonder if it's just, uh, it, it's just a quirk of how it clusters. Right mm -hmm. That's my, that's my working theory. Commander. Uh, once again, you can't see anything. Oh dear. Um, maybe, maybe over here? I don't know. Right. What can I do for you? you have all the SRMs in the world. Uh, I mean, that Enforcer is not really that much of a threat. Uh, let's shoot the Centurion a lot. Because I bet that does not have much in the way of armor. It does not. <sighs> right, Commander. It has even less now. I'm listening. Uh... Uh, okay, maybe I need to start moving this. This is a little bit far away now. <laughs> um, what does that look like? Eighty-two percent. I'll take it. Um, this this should work. This should work. Guess I'll give it to him then. Bit late in the game for an enforcer, to be honest. Though they're actually half decent. That one is dead, so never mind. We have had a lot of cheese during the course of this engagement. We really have. I think I think our only bad luck came in the middle. Um, but the rest of the time, we've been very lucky as to what we've been up against, I think. Yes, don't overheat, but kill the Centurion if you can. Or just Alpha Strike while you're on fire. That works too. I mean... Sure. I don't know. Uh, oh, those are not Illyrian uh, reinforcements. Those are 331st reinforcements, hence my confusion. Yeah. For some reason, it said uh, Illyrian Palatinate. I don't know why it said that, but hey. Uh, I mean, I could start shooting at these, because why not? 52%, that's terrible. Or, wait, 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 big brain, big brain. What I could do is use sensor lock... Reduce it to two evasion, and then get the Tonk to fire at it. That might be an idea. Because I think the rest of that lance is going to handle that poor old Centurion there somehow. Or if they don't, they just need to hand their cards in. Kaboom! Ah, uh, mostly kaboom. Pause for effect. 
You'll get shot up by a quick draw. That's embarrassing, that is. All right, I take it back. Maybe they can't deal with it. <laughs> I would have thought their entire Lance's firepower may have been able to deal with one slightly wobbly Centurion, but apparently not. And he missed too. Good, great, good stuff. Glad I left you guys to that. Okay, fine. Well, in which case, I'm going to just screw that and I'm going to shoot this guy with the uh, PPCs because reasons. Hauling ass! I'm I'm ass hauling, my dear fellow. Delilah, Delilah. Hit, hit, hit! Nice and a noggin shot to go with it. What? This is a frightening amount of headshots we've pulled off today. Uh, if he didn't have the damage reduction there, I think that would have been bye bye. Uh, right. What can you do? Uh. Shoot that Centurion, I think, might be an idea. Or actually, mount the Centurion. That'd be even funnier. Uh, 80%. Ooh, okay. Just in case you don't manage to do that. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. It's it's uh, initiative one. This is fine. Oh, that's his arm off. Kabong. Hot damn. Let's do this. Right. And uh where are we? Commander? So we halt the swarm attack. And jump back on uh no. Uh wait, uh yes, get back on the uh Kentaro, because it's funny. Quick step in it. I'm learning! I'm learning. There's now he lying on the floor going ouchies. Yeah, why is he stopping a radiation field? That's a really bad idea. David and Goliath thing going on. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, it is. It is very much the trick with BA uh, with Battle Armor is is definitely run it down to Initiative One, which is something it took me ages to get my head round. Run it down to Initiative One, and uh, you're basically safe because in Initiative Two you can just go back to where you came from. It's great. Uh. uh... Sense he's still running hot this thing. Let's sense lock this, and then we've got options. It's about to fall over anyway. I've got a sensor lock. My voice doesn't do that. Okay, so the rest of the lance is relatively light, so I guess this is the heaviest thing they've got, I'm guessing. Yeah, the whole the whole cheeky drive by thing where you just jump off of the uh, jump off the mech, shoot at initiative one, and then jump back on the mech. It's it's just it's just extra damage. It's great. That's so why the elemental armor is so ridiculous because they have those uh, those scatter gun things, uh, the the clan shotgun crowd control things. They are ridiculous because they're very good at crit seeking. So the, the, if the elemental armor jumps on something that's got structure showing, it's probably fucked. Uh, you have an Ostrock, but where's the Ostroll? <laughs> Ostrock and roll, baby. Uh, what do you mean run it down to initiative one? Right, okay. You see the uh, uh, top of the screen here? Um... We're in assorted initiative phases, so at the moment, we're in initiative uh, 6. So battle armor starts at initiative 10. Uh, so BT has some shortcuts. If I hold down shift and brace, it will reserve a unit to initiative 1. So what I've done, I've put both the battle armors in initiative 1, and then when the turn ends, it goes back to initiative 10. So the battle armor effectively get to move twice. So that's how I can uh, jump off a mech in initiative 1, shoot something, it starts again at initiative 10, and then I just jump back onto the uh, jump back onto the mech again, so it, it, it doesn't leave the battle armor vulnerable. It is, it is pulling shenanigans of the highest order. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is worth waiting for. This is worth waiting for. Right. Uh, this should hurt, unless it misses, and if I'll cry. No, I think that was a solid hit. Was it a hit? I think it was. 
Uh, yeah, leg shot. Okay, that's annoying. Yeah, so at the moment, um, yeah, this, this battle armor here is reserved to initiative one. So I, I can, I can pull all kinds of shenanigans with it. Hey, Cray PD, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, God, should we just keep going on this thing? I think let's do that. Wait, what was this? Oh, Wyvern. Okay. Oh, that's a good shot. Copy that. This is good. Right, we're overheating. No, good. Right, this should fall over. Target locked in. Oh, I hit the arm that time. Oh, legs off. Legs off. Down he goes. Wee. Uh. My leg. Going, going, doing pretty all right actually. Excellent. Glad to hear it. Okay, he's panicked, which is uh, not too surprising. Oh god, is this still alive? That's still alive. Jesus Christ. Let's let's make it not not alive, shall we? Going turbo. That way our erstwhile allies can do something with it, uh something interesting next afterwards. There we go. Gotcha. What on earth goes in between ten and five? Uh not quite sure what you mean, PM Collector Boy. So I just tried doing bolognese up from scratch. It came together pretty decent. Ah, okay. Yeah, my, uh, what I usually do, I have a can of, I, I get a can of uh, chopped tomatoes. Um, I have garlic. I have some barbecue uh, seasoning. I have some Italian herbs. Uh, a little pinch of beef. Uh, gravy. Um, what else do I put in it? Uh, and a little bit of bran sauce, and a little bit of tomato sauce, and adjust to t adjust to taste. Yes. Does the Allied AI lance run away? Uh, I don't think it's that one. Uh, this is tag team. I think it's the other one. Vanilla stops at five. Um. No, I think vanilla, um... Gravy must be really solid to add a pinch. Gravy powder, sorry. It's a Bisto beef gravy gravy stock powder. Oh, could be. They might run away, run away next turn. Uh, no, vanilla... I'm sure vanilla's got ten phases in it. Oh, no, wait. Does vanilla... Do you know what? It's been so long since I've played vanilla. Uh, I can't actually remember... How many initiative phases vanilla has? I honestly can't remember. It's been it's been ages. I, I haven't played vanilla in yonks. Uh, right. This is overkill, but there we go. Uh, two onion, two carrot. Ah, yeah. You see, you see, Craig PD, you're doing the uh good cooks version of uh spaghetti bolognese. I do the lazy bastards, I've just finished a stream, I don't want to do anything complicated version of Spag Bowl. <laughs> Which is what I tend to do after I've had a stream, I'm just like, right, need to eat, want something quick. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Uh, right, Throngola, what can you see? What do your elf eyes see? Apparently they see a downed Ostrog and I can't see anything else, so never mind. Now, this thing really should be dead by now. Got it. Okay, this Lancelot is stupidly heat efficient. I forget how stupidly heat efficient this is. How is that not dead? How? That doesn't make any sense. This is fine. First time the proper knife has been used for anything other than cake. I was happy with the consistency on the chopping too. Excellent. Yeah, I can't. I I, I can't put like white wine stuff. I I have a. I think I'm one of those people, um, uh, they call them super tasters. Um, because one time, many, many moons ago, uh, when, when I, I didn't cook so often, um, my dad made, like, a sausage casserole. I was like, sausage casserole, yeah! And I had a spoonful of it, and I was like, oh god, oh, what's wrong with this? This is terrible. 
and, and, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. There, 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 there is all the ingredients I like. This is fine. Took another spoonful of it. Same thing happened. Picked up the jar yes, that uh, that had held the casserole mix, and or like like the sauce, and it had 0.03 red wine in it. And I can't stand red wine, but I could taste this 0.03 of red wine in in this casserole mix it's it's ridiculous i i think i'm like part bloodhound or something i don't know um right uh right grayling grayling if you're still there i shall i shall demonstrate what i'm uh, what i what i mean here so uh okay we don't have any good targets right now so what i can do because it's initiative 1 i dismount the battle armor Run over here. Now, obviously, if I actually had a clear line of sight, this would be better, but I'll do it for the sake of uh, uh, argument. So, here, let's say there was mech here. I go pew pew, shoot mech, and we're in initiative one. Let's now we're back in initiative ten. We go commander. mount, remount the battle armor, scuttle back to safety. Well, relative safety. And none the worse for wear. And and that's how we do it. Hamster's cooking is better than mine. I can follow an old El Paso for he's a kit, and that is my peak of my cooking ability. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm entirely... Honestly, for people who think they can't cook, I'm entirely self-taught. Um, these days, I can do steak. I can do... Like, yeah, do, do, do your own spag bowl. I do a lazy bastard spag bowl, I, I guarantee you. I do... It's Honestly, if you can tell, that it, it's not that difficult. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, we could do an omni boop or multi boop. We could do a multi boop from behind this hill. That might work. He's really moved, hasn't he? Yeah, let's do that. Let's move. Sometimes it splits or doesn't come together, or something with mixes. Over reduced wine. Yeah, you see, uh, that's it's funny. I, I use pork mince because we used to eat yeah, far yeah. too much beef. <laughs> So yeah, I actually, I actually switched to switch to pork pork mince myself because we we used to have a stupid amount of beef in the house. I've managed to I managed to split it up between uh, like beef, chicken, pork. I think we have lamb on Sunday actually. So it managed to sort of like spread it about a bit. But yeah, we used to eat way too much beef. <laughs> the only slightly worrying thing about pork we turned to this is turned to a cooking stream. This is great. Uh, the only slightly worrying thing about when you 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 brown. Um, pork mince as it goes this kind of like greyish colour which doesn't look very appetising until you dump all the rest of it in whereas obviously beef mince usually goes like a brownish colour but yeah it's it's the first time you do pork mince you're like oh god why is it going this strange colour it's like no it's supposed to do that it's fine it's kind of funny uh, why is it safer mounted wouldn't they in the mech take both damage ah yes now uh, when it's uh, mounted on the mech the battle armor does take the damage um, instead of the... Uh, well, takes damage alongside the mech. Uh, that is very true. However, um, battle armor can only really build, like, two evasion. I think three, if you've got the right skills. So it's very easy to hit when it's not mounted on a on a mech. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, Craig exactly says says most. Whereas, like, for example, my Owens here has got six evasion uh, which also means the battle armor that's on it has got six evasion because it's it's clinging onto the outside of it going very very fast um so yeah if if you leave battle armor out in the open they are they are really vulnerable as i've discovered in in many a times before right what can we what can i actually do here uh yes, i haven't shot anything for a while oh here we go perfect right there we are yeah, hence hence why it's taking me this long to get my head around how you use battle armor properly. It, it is it is a bit of a there is a bit of a trick to it. Oh, there's nothing wrong with battle armor at all. No, no, no. It is just you, you've got to just use it in the in its in the right capacity. Hey, Kogosh. Uh, BA can get super tanky though. Oh yeah yeah yeah. No doubt. Uh, yeah, if you've got something like Bulwark, Brace, uh, and uh, let's say you're in a forest, it does um, it does reduce the damage. 
but they are still far easier to hit than mechs are. PA is fine, it's not vulnerable and hasn't gotten pilots injured ever. Ah, oh, you were being sarcastic! Sorry, I didn't realise. I'll have to I'll have to dig out that clip where I accidentally left left a uh, a battle armor posse out in the open and it got absolutely rocked by a assault mech. That was uh, very bad. That missed. That was 91% and that missed. God fucking damn it. I hear you. Jesus. Right. Let's try it again, only with missiles. Pedal to the metal. Come on, the missiles are going downhill. They should be doing more damage. That's how missiles work. That's not how missiles work. Uh, it's pretty funny to watch the BA take a UAC-20 to the face and take 34 damage twice. Yes, that, that hurts. Uh, yeah, let's go on with that, because that's still going. Please fall over at your earliest convenience. Yes? No? Nearly. Scored a critical hit. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've actually had... I don't think I've seen... Uh... Unless it's DFA or something, I don't think I've seen battle armor pilots get injured while they're hanging on to a mech. Whoa, that guy is dead. Good shot. That wasn't me. He did make himself fall asleep, though. Ah, oh, yeah, they probably have the small... Actually, well, actually, if I had a battle armor on the field, I could tell you. Yeah, they probably have the modifier for being dinky. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, they, they probably have the modifier for being small. That would make sense. Actually, I don't think I can tell unless I'm being fired at. Yeah. So I couldn't tell you unless I was actually shooting at um, <laughs> Bat Llama, but yeah, it sounds about right. Uh, are we overheating? No. Good. Well, that's scattered a bit. Oh, no, it didn't. Open torso. Excellent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you if you have uh, sort of like medium mechs upwards, uh, yeah, it's it's a bad day to be battle armor if you get caught out in the open. Yeah, they might be able to tank being shot at by light mechs for a bit, but but yeah, I like I said, I've got a very. It, it's probably on the channel somewhere. I, I accidentally left uh, Roach Mogul's battle armor literally standing out in the open, and I somehow forgot there was a hundred and ton a hundred ton enemy mech across the lake. And literally, the mech looked over at my force and went, Huh, you've got something with zero evasion, and just unloaded its entire armament on it, and it was like, Ah, I've made a mistake. Commander. So that was kind of funny. I don't think he died, either. I mean, he wasn't very happy, but I don't think he died. All right, what's that look like? 48. Terrible. Uh, what does that look like from here? 48. Okay, I guess we'll go over here, then. Yep, 48 regardless. Good to go. You buck! Good to go. Oh, fuck me, that's a hit. That's two hits. Not bad! Inflicted some heavy damage. Under 50%. Not bad at all. Waiting for order. And we can do the thing. Yes, we're doing the thing. And we must remember Battle Lord. Copy that, Commander. Oh, get wrecked! Damn. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> Wait, seventy-five. Oh, there's the there's the cyclone left there. I didn't notice that. I was like, I've won. I was like, no, I haven't. There's a cyclone left. Paying attention, 007. Right, what's this brave idiot gonna do, I wonder? Approximately fuck all. Standing by. Uh that's a charge, isn't it? There's no way that's an actual yeah, that's a charge. That's a terrible idea. Uh let's get behind it. Roger. 
Ooh, shoot, shoots, or sensor lock. Ah, let's do sensor lock. I want to inflict terrible things upon it. Sensor's locked on. Receiving you. Right. Actually, can anyone see it from up here? Oh, yes, they can. Look at that. It's like, wait, can we see it? Double time, let's go. Uh, 76%? Yep, wow, Jesus, yeah, sure. Oh, I forget I've got an artillery FCS in here. Keep forgetting that. Okay, uh, yes. Locked on. Oh, that's solid. Well, it was solid. Now it's a bit fucked. Oh, center of mass. Evasion unchanged? Oh, fuck, so it was. That's got Guardian. It didn't do him any good, though, because uh, now his midsection is open. Right, uh... How's it going? Better than this guy. All right, let's put some uh, let's put some juice on it, and please don't miss. I thought that was a miss. I didn't think he hit it in the arm. Okay, he no happy. Waiting on you, Commander. Right, this will be overkill. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Roger that. Firing on target. It's not dead yet. I mean, he probably wishes he was. That's... <laughs> okay, that's actually surprisingly resilient. And uh, now I think it's going to be in trouble. Affirmative. Here we go. That was one out... That was one crit away from exploding. Did we win? That one's done for I think we won. Nice! Your enemy's logo thing looks like a map of Minnesota. I believe it is a map of Minnesota. Um, because I've got to get my battle tech law hat on. Aren't the Royal... Aren't the 331st Royal Battle Mech Division supposed to be... Are they supposed to be Clan Wolverine? I can't remember. So it's like the Lost Tribe of Minnesota, or Minnesota Lost Tribe, one of the two. Is, is that right? Have I got my law right? I, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm not an expert on Battletech law. I, I, I know what I know, but uh, I'm not a uh, super expert. You're not going crazy. No, you're not going crazy. Nope, that is correct. I mean, correct, you're not going crazy. Right. Uh, they haven't packaged any of this, any much of the salvage together. Most of the... Honestly, most of this stuff was primitive, which is kind of funny when you think about it. Right, I might take a gut. Ooh, double heat sinks. Stack of six. I might take those as well. Um, Ammo grenade high X. Well, it doesn't matter because we haven't got the grenade launcher because I blew it up. Though I do like those mech grenade launchers. They're quite fun. Every battle armor has 35 damage reduction or plus two death and plus one evasion. Oh, yeah, with the, uh, the, affinity, uh, the affinity system. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Kermie Fly, how's it going? Don't make me learn ge US geography. <laughs> um, God, what do I, do I even want any of these? I mean, all these are lights and mediums, aren't they? I mean, it's another centurion. We've already got two centurions. Uh, the rest of them are like... The Enforcer got absolutely ruined. The rest of them are 30 tonners. And it was only two and a half skulls. I don't know what I was expecting. Definitely don't want a Phoenix Hulk. Uh... Yeah, large. Uh, nine medium and lasers. Uh, I mean, maybe the Beagle Probe and the Artemis? I think we've got plenty of Ferro. Oh, maybe the Artemis. Actually, we've got tons of Artemis as well, actually. We just never. We just haven't got lots of Artemis. Actually, that's a good point. Do they have Artemis ammo? Uh, oh, okay, that's two. Yeah, there we go, because we don't always find that. Uh, I don't know, what, Pharaoh? Pharaoh or another beagle? We have a lot of beagle probes as well, actually, in fairness. Um, look, let's take the Pharaoh. Uh, we're going to get 16 of this, so we're probably going to wind up with a mech anyway, so... we we'll take the 270 core. Uh, yeah, could be. I don't actually think we've got a huge excess of those to sell, to be honest. Uh, yeah, maybe.
Right. And we got... Uh, great. We got half of everything. That's that's brilliant. <laughs> that's terrible. That is the most random fucking pool of mech salvage I've ever fucking seen. That's stunning. Sure. It's fine. <laughs> Bees. Okay, I think that means you've won the engagement, which is pretty cool. So, let's see where we are. Hello? There we go. Alrighty. Let's switch over to the slightly better being able to see what's going on screen. There we go, glorious. Right, now I reckon, by my reckoning, we have won. Seven to zero. That's pretty good, considering that actually started, I think it was 30 plays 15. We've done okay. So theoretically, if we just do uh, one day, there we go. Drives the forces of the 331st from the surface of Altona, leaving you a celebrate victory with your crew and a bonus from your employer. Glorious. Nothing but heat sinks. <laughs> it's a hand. It's punch damage. That's fine. Uh, another snubby. That's good. We like snubbies. Uh, oh, wait, that's it? Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay, just as I wasn't kind of... Like, hoping for great things from this. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> That's only five things. Oh, well. I mean, better than having five things taken away from me. Uh, I believe we can ally, yes. Right, so let's have... I think I think we're all... Yeah, we actually uh, we won the day there. Kill... Yeah, I think we may as well, to be honest, because uh, everyone else hates us anyway. It'd take us about a week to... It'd take us, like, a month to build up anything with anyone else. So we may as well uh, uh, ally with Kurita, because it just kind of makes sense at this point. And everyone will hate us. Which is fine. Uh, choose to break an alliance, drastically reduce your reputation... So, I mean, you know, we can back out of it later. We are now 100% Karitan. Does that mean we've got access to... Oh, hey, look, there's a faction shop here. Nice! Okay, what's in the faction shop? Lots of things we can't afford. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we can't afford. Hey, Kanazuchi Battle Armor! This is what somebody was talking about. This is the stuff that, that like, moves about, like... Cretans, not cretins. I didn't. I didn't say cretins. I'm sure I said cretins, didn't I? Cretans, cretins. Maybe my my pronunciation. Cretans, cretans. Yeah, I'm having trouble with that. Clearly, Kurita. There you go. Not cretins. Ah, cretins. Uh this was the aforementioned battle armor, wasn't it? That has medium lasers, but this thing does not move very fast. So that would have to be like in something uh cool idea though yeah there's a big long list of things we can't afford <laughs> riding battle armor nice uh heavy ghost rifle nice that's very fast credit is accurate though <laughs> could be sorcerer mm, yep yeah, we can't afford any of this void battle armor uh oh that's a stealth battle armor nice C3 Masters! Unlimited! Unlimited C3 Masters! Uh, excellent, we can finally actually use ours. Wow, there's all these uh, bomb racks. Now, I don't think I've actually seen... I have not possessed a VTOL or a LAM that has a bomb rack, so I've never used those before. MRMs a go-go, lovely. Uh, replacement Gorse Rifles, VRMs, Apollos, C3 Slaves, Double Heat Sink Kits... Excellent, this is good. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, let's have a look at stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, okay, so what are we going to do with this flipping dervish? Um, so I was pondering, could we swap... Would it make more sense to swap the Kentaro and the Dervish around in rolls? So the Dervish has got all the SRMs, but then we couldn't fit that much more SRMs on here. Because we couldn't. So, let's see. What else we can do on here? Gonna need lots of money. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we can sell, to be honest. And we have been playing for... for salvage uh this entire time because of all the raids and stuff uh you got 12 ferrofibrous yeah we got no no problems there uh now if we were to turn this into a uh lrm platform uh we could make it a little slower because it wouldn't need to be that zippy so what we got 250 Mm, what does that make it? Dervish is better at LRM duty. Yeah, we used our ODXL engine on something that is not this. Uh, five, eight, nineteen tons. I'm still not convinced. I don't think we have any XLs. Uh, I don't think we actually have any other weight saving. I mean, I've got an engine. I've got an XXL engine I could stick in there. <laughs> that would be, oh boy. Yeah, but then that's a that's a slot that's not doing anything. That gives us twenty six, and we have to put a spare heat sink on. And the other advantage that the uh, um, Kintaro has, I think that's got a double heat sink kit on it. Ah. Right, so, if we were logical about this, can we fit double LRM20s on here? Right, which these are six tons and absolutely... Okay, the heat delta is not as bad as it looks. Uh, oh, of course, because the XXL adds more heat, doesn't it? Oh, God. I'm turning this into a poor man's um, LRM FCS from the faction store. So, I think the FCS is going to be a luxury. Um, because I think tonnage is going to be a scrape. I I don't know if we're going to be able to fit, like, because we got to get, what? That's RM40, so we need, what? I don't know. Ugh. Six tons of ammo, minimum? Probably eight tons of ammo, knowing me. We've already got six tons. Two LRM fifteens is oh that's not a bad shout actually. Cause then we can get into shenanigans with uh comedy ammo, couldn't we? Right, well, that's eight tons and heat efficiency is even worse. Okay, I think the problem with this is the single the single um We don't have a double heat sink kit, do we? Do we? No. Wait, what's E cooling two? What is that? What the engines does that need? Oh, three hundred. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. I'm not convinced this is such a great idea. <laughs> this is the conundrum I had last time. Because now, not only do we have to find extra ammo for it, got a heat that got to cool the damn thing. Yeah, it, it definitely needs double heat sinks. We do we don't we do not have an well, I say we don't have an abundance. I I'm sure there's a ton in the store. And I'm pretty sure the Kentaro actually has uh double heat sinks. Yeah, we've got double heat sink kits, but it costs 1.5 million. <laughs> okay, so 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 so. What I think we're gonna do is uh, sell a bunch of stuff we're not using that's sat in the storage and probably get rid of all our light lighter... Right, Erby, that can go. Uh, Wield APC, that can go. Adet, that can go. Savannah Master, don't think we used it once. 
Right, okay. Not the Herbie! Nah, it just doesn't have enough... It doesn't have enough room in it. That's the problem. Right. I'm gonna just junk all of my light, la uh, light mechs, because this is just... We don't need these. Yeah, we need to we need to accumulate some cash. Now now we're allied. We we need to go in for the money. Hell, there's probably a few um There's probably a few uh mediums we can probably ditch. I mean that's starting to look a bit more healthy already. Uh pirate missions. Uh, we can't take pirate missions anymore. We just allied with Karita, which means uh, pirates are now our enemies. Because pirates are enemies to all factions. So, uh, that's, that's, that's a, that's a no-no. <laughs> Unless you mean fighting pirates. Uh, but yeah, we can't take jobs, uh, for pirates, because they, they, they fucking hate us. I mean, legitimately proper haters, not just regular haters. Um, okay. Uh, oh god, that Marauder's still gonna take a fucking age. Wait, have I, have I missed the mech bay upgrades again? I bet you I have. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I, I've missed all the cheap, uh, the cheap mech bay upgrades again. I always do this. I'm like, why does it take so long for my mechs to get built? Because you haven't upgraded the mech bay yet, you buffoon. Should be able to get pirates at zero rep at least, so they're workable-ish. I don't think so. I don't know, actually. Uh, no, because you... Really? I don't think so. Let's have a look. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No. Uh, max contract difficulty one. But one skull. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah, that that's really not gonna be worth the effort. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if we can actually even work for them, to be honest. Uh, right, hang on. Uh, scrapping and crapping. Wait, hang on. That just said I could build something? Did I hallucinate there? I saw some. I saw something green. Oh shit! I can make a phoenix fork. Uh, and sell it. Even better. Um. That swaps in Guardian, which is good. We can take that and then we can strip it. Oh, well, I haven't got any slots left in the mech bay. Of course I haven't. Son of a bitch. Uh, balls. The annoying thing we use... I haven't used the Uziel for ages, but we're not getting rid of that because it's really good. Um, bugger. Maybe we should... Uh, I mean, we could put the Dervish into storage temporarily because we haven't actually got the stuff we can use to upgrade it yet, so... We can get back to that. That makes sense. Right, make sure we don't accidentally sell the Dervish now. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, if we're gonna... Well, right. What I want to do... What I want to do... Is make sure we can upgrade... Uh... Oh, that's got an XL engine in it. Ha! Huh. Okay, right. Okay, because this is like our this is like our current LRM hybrid thing, but that's fine because that's actually that's where the other XL engine went. Yeah, that's fine. Right, I'm gonna sell this Phoenix Hawk anyway because uh, it'd be crazy not to. Which also nets us a uh, free Guardian ECM effectively, so that's good. Can't say no to one of those. And a 270 core and, uh, and some other random shit. That's good. Right. There are ways and means. Ways and means. Beans? Beans and weans. I, I don't know. Right, that's 400,000 that I can make from that. Nice, nice. Yeah, so if we're going to make uh, if we're going to make a decent thing we may as well oh that's got ah i see yeah, yeah yeah the the uh centurion's got endo and pharaoh in it that's why we'll be able to pull the shenan shenanigans we have pulled with it thus far right 
Um, so if we put out in storage, we can nick the XL engine. Uh, we can afford a double the heatsink kit, stick it on the Dervish, and then we've got like a decent missile platform on a medium, I'm guessing? At least, you know, it's got to be more missiles than this. If it's less missiles than this, there's no point in doing it, so... <laughs> you'd think, you'd hope, there'd be more missiles. Right, okay, also this thing's stupidly fast. I forgot we didn't actually... Well, okay, the thing we didn't do was actually, I think we left this thing with the original engine in it. We didn't actually downgrade the engine in this at all, which is kind of funny. Sunday be worth keeping for a duelist, maybe medium cannon with ammo feed, MRM 30. Uh, maybe. I think there's better mechs you can duel with than a Centurion. We'll keep it for now, because it's quite a it's quite a Porsche one. It's got all the toys in it, so. Other than a double heatsink kit. Uh no, this one. Oh wait, no, we did downcore it. Sorry. Something made me think we upcored it. I was looking at the wrong thing. Anyway, we're gonna steal the XL engine and stuff from there anyway. No, no, says Craig. 9D is 300. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely down called it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We down called it. Because that's what we did. We basically turned it into a. Yeah, weirdly enough, I think we ended up with two of them, which is why I started using this one. Except I didn't put Pharaoh on that. Wait, why didn't I not put Pharaoh on that? Was there no room? Why didn't I put Pharaoh on that? Oh, because it needed one extra slot. That's why. We ran out of slots. Uh, that is why. I knew there was a reason we didn't do that. Okay, right. So we can nick the XL engine off that. So that's doable. Uh, Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. Dervish. Uh, right, let's see if we can uh, actually liquidate some more assets here. What have we got? Uh, Falcon. Likelihood of ever encountering that again? I don't know. Oh, these two... Oh, Firefly and Falcon. Those are two different mechs. Uh, Panther 14S? I think we built one of those, and then we sold it. But yeah, since we were putting LRMs on it, it was kind of like, uh, yeah. Maybe keep those around. Uh, maybe. What the hell's a nitic tick a heck Oh, Nighthawk, right. <laughs> it's like, what's that when it's at home? Uh, right, anything we really don't want here. Vulcan. Bog standard Vulcan 5T. No, thank you. Uh, Royal Sentinel. Keep all of that. Strider! Which is kind of... It's, okay, it's basically a cicada, isn't it, really? Basically. Okay, we've got two of those. Uh, Hetzer. Um, I don't think we'd ever use a Hetzer. I think I, think I might have sold one. Because it's very, very slow. Oh, okay, it's not going to cost us that much. Uh, Bugstan and Phoenix Hawk, don't care. Uh, Hazard, you never know, we might encounter one of those. Uh, Hatchetmen, there's only one of them. Eh. Right, what does that bring us to? 4.4 million. That's not too shabby. <clears throat> I have a soft spot for the Vulcan, even though it sucks. It's... Uh, honestly, it's like... If if you just make the stock load out slightly less schizophrenic, in the early game, it's great for running up to things, kicking them, and unleashing a bunch of support weapons on it. Um, That's, that's kind of like... Um... Yeah, but it doesn't last very long. It, it never seems to live long and prosper. No, exactly. Um, gonna grab FCS from the store. Run Artemis for. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what tonnage I can. I can. Pan, we can. We can squeeze out of it first, and then see what we can add on. I think I might. I actually have some RT. Right. Hang on then. Of oh, course. Cool, so now it's taking the fusion core out as well. <laughs> Ah, what the hell does it have on its stock? Uh, okay, it has a 275 in its stock, which we're not going to need. Uh, we're not going to need something that fast. Uh, so maybe do it the same as the thing, 240? Oh yeah, no, no, no doubt it's good. Um, it's just, 
I, I can't do the mental gymnastics to think whether we can fit um, that in on top of everything else we're doing. Right, so that's why have I got a single clan double heatsink? Probably because of random shit. Um, ah, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't buy the double heatsink kit. <laughs> that's a, that's a thing I haven't done. I do think it's quite funny we're still relying on our mediums for missile support. That's quite, quite funny. Uh, right, where are we? No, that's bulk heat bank. Those are jump jets. Uh... Help me, Obi-Wan. I'm sure I saw a double heat sink kit. Oh, DNI cockpits. Hello. Hello. DNI cockpits. Nice. Oh, in the wrong shop. Hang on. Yeah, no, I just noticed that myself. <laughs> right, 1.5 million. Pricey. Um, We may have to liquidate more things. This is going to be an expensive mag. Is this actually worth it? Do, do we, should we go with the XL engine first? Just for the fact that isn't going to cost me 1.5 million. <laughs> let's let's just let's just map this one out a little bit. It is worth it. Uh, okay. Well, that's true. It is unlimited. We just need the money for it. That's a good point. Ouch. Ow. Right, okay. Did I get that bundle of double heat sinks? I did, I was gonna say, I was like, and then we didn't have any double heat sinks. Right, okay. Uh blah blah blah. What do you think we can get away with here? Um 240? Which gives us 5 8? We could go smaller than that, actually. Well, 215's a bit of a drop. 47. Uh, uh, yeah, wait, no, hang on. How much tonnage does that give us? 26. That's probably a bit slow, isn't it? Oh, wait, 240, not 250. Right, needs an extra heatsink, but there's no point in doing that yet because I haven't put the heatsink kit in yet, which I have lost. Uh, okay. Uh, that now says what? Does not have the minimum number. Oh, okay. Luckily, we do have a double heatsink. Several double heatsinks. Okay. Right. Thanks out that. That leaves a 17. But then... Uh, got an XL engine. That leaves us 23. Um, I'm not sure this is worth it. Oh, Ferro. Oh, Ferro. Okay. Do, 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 do. That still leaves us six tons. <laughs> but we don't have to worry about the cooling. Because that it's at minus 18. Uh, unfortunately, we are absolutely have to put one heatsink cap on, which is uh, annoying. But there we go. Right. Okay. Then. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to put Artemis on it. We're, we're a little shy of tonnage for Artemis, which is a little annoying. Uh, arms. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. It's taken off of the lower arms. That's the whole point of putting the missiles in the armsies. I knew that. No, I didn't. It's not true. Okay, these are all punch bonuses. I don't punch very often. I do tend to kick things, though. Right, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. It's like, we're, we're not we're not going to go the Artemis route, because that's that drops it to four tons for the attachments, and then we've only got four tons for LRM-40, LRM which is not... not great. Um, so, yeah. I think we're going to have to go reg. Do without the LRM-5s. Well, the thing is, it's nice to have, like, 
you, you can put all the, the sort of like doodle bob wacky ammo in the LRMs, like uh, the bees. Because um, I'm thinking if you left it at LRM 30, that's, that's only actually five more. Um, five more missiles than we had in the Centurion. Smaller engine, does long range need speed? Well, yeah, we've already lowered the... I think it started with a 275 core. And we've lowered it to a 240. The next smallest one we've got is a 215. Which I think might make it too slow. But then it's going to be at the back anyway. Uh... That's 4.7, and now we're at 7 tons, and we need another heatsink. Uh... Which we're not actually paying the tonnage for, so... Well, that's 7 tons. Um, I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, right. Let's see if we can get the ammo situation sorted. Right. Bees, definitely. Uh, we might just see if we can have to fit some case on there as well. Uh, actually, if we're gonna, if we're gonna put, like, if we're gonna put ammo in the torso, we're definitely gonna have to find some case, so we'll have to see how that works out in a second. Uh, right. Uh, where are we at? That's one, two, three, four. God, it's gonna need to be at least, what, double that, I think? Or at least another two tons. Maybe another four tons. We could scrape four tons. Which gives it eight tons. Uh, but then if we're doing that, we're going to need case. Uh, yeah. Uh, d -d 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 I know where the case is. There it is. Uh, so we're one ton overweight, which we can't do much about there. Eesh. How many salvos is that? Uh, get the calculator! Get the blessed calculator. Well, actually, there's nothing blessed about the calculator, it's just a regular one. So what did I say? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, eight. So that's eight times 150. Divided by... Th uh, ba -da -ba -da. Fucking hell, 40. Okay, that's 30 salvos. That might be a little bit excessive. <laughs> uh, I, for some reason, I thought that was LRM more than that. Uh, yeah, okay. So we could probably get away with... Uh, do, 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 do. Wait, no, that's not right, is it? 120. Not 150. Why did I think that had 150 in it? Uh, okay, we can get seven. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason... For some reason, I suddenly decided in my brain that uh, ammo, <laughs> LRM ammo hoppers actually have 150 missiles in. I don't know why I thought there were 150 missiles in them. Um, so, uh, go figure. If the LRM 5 is only there for the bees, could do a single launcher. Hey, bee stakes! Yeah, 21 salvos. Uh, I mean... Eh. Could get away with six. Bearing in mind one of these is... One of these are bees. So it's 18 with bees. And it's... 15 without bees, so six should be okay, I guess. Six is an okay number, I guess. Bees, indeed. Um, so if we did that, that, it's 0.72, 24 volleys, yeah. That's one, two, three, four, four. Brains, one, two, three, six. Right. Hmm. If I can do maths, it's not guaranteed. Don't, I've got a calculator in front of me and I'm still getting it wrong. Don't worry. 
yeah, we can't we can't fit we can't fit like an FCS or RT on here. It's really annoying. Drop it, drop the LRM for an LRM FCS. You know you want to. It's only going to be five. It's only going to be five missiles more than what we had on the Centurion. If we did that. Much higher accuracy. Yeah, I guess. Uh... I mean, it is a 55 tonner. I have to keep reminding myself this is a 55 tonner. That <laughs> we've got this far is actually pretty good. Um. Okay, right. So, do I actually... I don't think I have any. Double check I haven't got any. Right, the, thing, the only things I have... Wait, I do have Artemis. Do I have Artemis LRMs? Oh, I've only got four tons of Arty. Okay, that's annoying. Right, hang on. Let's go have a look at the shop. Designing mechs at the end of the stream is a really, really terrible idea. Uh, couldn't run Artful with bees. That's true. That is a fair point. H hello? I wish to look at the... Oh, 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 oh god. The Caritan shop was having a moment with me there. Uh, LRM of Sisters, there we go. Get two of those. New equipment available. Uh, if you've got a larder and then retrofitted it with ten times its total value. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what we're doing, yes. That is pretty much what we've done, yes. Pre pretty, pretty much exactly that, yeah. Hey, it's fun to be a crazy person. Uh, okay, what did we say? 240. 240. Uh, Excel. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, Fedo. Uh, and a double heatsink kit. Uh, Fedo, Fedo, Fedo. There we go. Heatsink kit. Then we need a. Single double heatsink as minimum. Uh, no, wait, we've put 215 on there. One absolute talking nonsense. At which point we need two heatsinks. This is this is literal. This is literal turd polishing right here. It really is. Ah, oh, wait, we need three FCSs. We need three FCSs because uh, if one of them's got FCS on it, they all need it. Doesn't it? It's not a turd. <laughs> no, I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? I thought it was. I thought that was one of the limitations. I thought when you did that, you had to put everything had to have the FCS on it. Oh, it's Arty. No, I don't. No, something makes me think that got changed. Something. Oh no. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. Okay. Right. Uh... Oh, this is so funny. Okay. Um, ammo. Ammo, ammo. Mushroom, mushroom. Right. Bees. Uh, RM. RM. Are you polishing a turd or are you polishing with a turd? That's, that, that's a question. That That is a question. Ah, oh, yes, arms. We need arms. This is like, we've nearly spent, like, we've spent over two million on this thing. It's not even worth that much. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, why am I doing this to myself? Um, I blame chat. Hashtag I blame chat. Right, there we go. How's that? Da, 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 da. Someone's going to say put ECM on it, aren't they? Right, that's a ton and a half. Uh, where's that going to live? Could put it in the head. Right. Bin of dumb fire in there. Could do. Could do. Right, let's start. Let's start peeling. Peely, peely, peely. Peely, peely, peely. 
peel, peel, peel the mech. Mechy, mechy, peel. Uh, nearly there. Uh, 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 don't like it, don't like it. You watch, this thing's gonna land in a hot drop and end up exploding immediately. Okay, how about that? Dumbfire with FCS is like MRMs were not bad. Uh, yeah, we could do. I think I have a ton of Dumbfire somewhere. There you go, I do have a ton of Dumbfire. Ton of, ton of Dumbfire? Howdy, I'm Tom of Dumbfire. What the fuck? Okay. The most expensive 55 tonner you've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> Yeah. That we've spent approximately 2.2 million to make not suck. <laughs> and the net result is we've got 10 more missiles firing than we had with a Centurion. <laughs> Behold! Okay, I guess, I guess we'll, uh, yeah, okay. Oh boy. Yang's like, what? What? Wait, that's not gonna take two days? Jesus Christ. I ain't bad. I ain't bad at all. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's gonna take longer than that. Right, uh, I I'd like to be up to like three million or something. That'd be good. That'd be nice. So many heavies we can get rid of. Uh, carrier. Rubbish. They always explode. Hey, Wall Bun Bun, the real question is why? Uh, I think the answer is because we can. Uh, I don't know. I can't see the quirk without cancelling it. Well, actually, hang on a minute. I can spin it on two days and find out. Oh, Dragoons to sell light fusion tech on open market. Okay. Good for them. Um... Oh dear, we've been horribly hacked by Comstar or something. I don't know. Cool. Uh, right. Uh, quirk. What was the quirk? It was... Easy to maintain. Which is... Easy refits, just as well. And 55 stability threshold. Extra. So, that's nice. <laughs> oh my god, that's so expensive. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, okay, right. Uh, eventually our heavies are actually going to get done. Then we can actually fight at slightly higher difficulties. But anyway, it is gone 8 o'clock. So, I am going to stick a save in. And we're going to wrap things up in this. Do I have a dude in this? I believe you do, Wolf Warrior. Let me just get the save in and have a look at the barracks. If memory serves me correctly, I think you do. Let's have a look. Is he literally called Wolf? I think. Uh, possibly not in that case. Unless he died. He might have died. Who died? Nope, that's not the memorial, that's the barracks again. Oh no, it was Mecha GM and Namrong, and that's who died. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the stream, because it is late, and I have to get dinner on, and things like that. So let us do the things. Uh, let's quit out of Battletech. And we should put an extra save in, because I'm paranoid. Do 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 do. Yeah, we just spent 2.2 million on that dervish. However, we're now allied with Karita, so if we make lots and lots of money, we can buy all the cool shit. That is that is the that is the main main thing we have there. Right, let's find the ending screen. Here we go. Hey, here we go. So uh thank you all very much for being part of the stream. Um thank you very much, uh, Dow 300 at WSM and Grayling for the follow. Uh thanks Tankair for the sub. Thanks, Megato, for the bits. Thank you very much, thank you very kind. Uh, you can find all my assorted links uh, there. 
Um, and I'll be back next week on uh, Monday. We're going to be playing some more Stellaris because uh, Bamboozle and Roach Mangle have very kindly got me some more DLC for that. So uh, we should be doing more of that, even though my brain will probably not be able to handle it. But that's half the fun, I've been reliably told. Um, and yeah, uh, so let's go find somebody to raid. I was about to say, hey, look, you can see my new wallpaper. And I was like, you can't see my wallpaper because you can't see my, you can't see my, uh, you can't see my desktop. So that's a big fat lie. That's kind of funny. Right. Who's doing what on Twitch? Let's go have a look. See. Um, well, I've got a bit of a no brainer for a raid. Uh, let's face it, because he started streaming a bit earlier. Let's go raid HBFT Gaming because he too is doing some Battletech Advanced shenanigans. So it just makes sense. There we go. That is his channel. Let's get the raid going. Do, 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 do. Please be kind when you raid. Um, and yes, uh, uh, thank you all very much again. Uh, I shall catch you on Monday. Take care of yourselves in the meantime, and I shall see you later.